Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy-ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Our first sponsor is Nintendo, with their new game, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Sam? Thanks, Matt. Everyone at CR is excited about Tears of the Kingdom, the brand new Breath of the Wild sequel that is an amazing leap forward in the series. Ow. <laughs> Rediscover an expanded and transformed Hyrule with new abilities that test your creativity. Uh, glimpse ancient events that lead up to the uh, upheaval and build creative solutions to traverse three layers of Hyrule, solving puzzles like never before. Ow. 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 Sam, Sam, are you are you okay? I'm fine, Matt. I just need a little water. Yeah, it's actually really surprisingly. Well, oh. Oh. What, what happened? Well, to I you? was so stoked about Tears of the Kingdom that I wanted to cosplay as Link. I even did my own makeup for tonight, but it was a pollen-based makeup, and my face had a little reaction. It's kind of red. I'm. I'm embarrassed. Oh no, no. I mean, we're we're all friends here. Yeah. How about gonna be? Just, just, just take off the wrapping. I'm sure you'll look great. You no. Really? You think so? No one's yeah, watching. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Marcia. Uh, you want to maybe no, give my hand no. here? Yeah, I, or? Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh, 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 oh God! Oh, 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 no! What? How do I look? It's, it's no. Just, yes. There's a lot of guys. Go home. Put it back on. Put it away. Well. It looks like I'm going to have a lot of time to try out the must-play sequel oh. to the, one of the most God. highly acclaimed games in the last decade. <laughs> Master your imagination as you save a transformed Hyrule. Tears of the Kingdom available now for Nintendo Switch. Guys, do you feel that? Should the air hurt? <laughs> I don't, I don't. I don't think that's supposed to. I think that's. that's I'll, go to the hospital. Oh, I'll go to the hospital. Don't forget to check out our Tears of the Kingdom one shot. But Matt, we'll talk about that more in a bit. I'm gonna pass out right now. Matt, back to you. Oh wow. Oh. That made a thunder. Okay. Um. Well. This isn't a workman's comp thing, right? <laughs> our our second sponsor for the night is D and D Beyond. Be the hero. Oh, of the sorry, we're a little emotional. <laughs> I know, I can tell. Uh, be the hero good. of your table with the free D and D Beyond subscription <laughs> trial. Get exclusive access to monthly subscription perks to personalize your play, share your D and D books with your party, and make unlimited character slots to bring all your character ideas to life. Sam, no. No. no! <laughs> oh my God. Do not. That's disgusting. <laughs> Start your 30 day free trial today at dndbeyond.link slash. I knew he was there and it still scared me. <laughs> CR sub. Um, as, as our wonderful uh, swollen regal here said, uh, we <laughs> have a special thing coming up, our Sweagal. Oh, Sweagal. Uh, please join us for a special The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom one shot, yes! sponsored by our friends yes! at Nintendo. Uh, I'll be running the game uh, with wonderful players Marisha Sheree, Liam O'Brien, and uh, guests Emily Axford, Omar Najam, Robbie Damon, and I can't wait for you to check it out. Uh, this one shot airs Tuesday, May 30th at 7 p.m. Pacific on Twitch and YouTube. So come and check it out. Super excited. Uh, Marisha, you got something to talk about? Oh, goodness. So stoked. Candela Obscura premieres in one week. Yeah! <laughs> It's as terrifying as that. Maybe not as scary, actually. But it's a horror game. Um, Am I distracting this Candela well, news? No, you're fine. I'm a professional. I kind of like the hair with like your features. No, what? No, no. Oh, it's on his yeah, yeah, no. Why it gives all the way? Oh, Why look at his neck. Oh, all the way down. Blue Blue shut. Oh. Did something actually Candela happen? Candela Obscura. Yes. If you want to see. <laughs> Just primal terrors, such as Sam Regal's face, uh, and other just cosmic nightmares. <laughs> Tune in next Thursday, May 25th at 7 p.m. Pacific, and follow Laura Bailey, oh. Ashley Johnson, oh. Robbie Damon, oh. Anjali Bamani, oh. and our fantastic GM, Matthew Mercer, oh. through a terrifying and corruptive world where magic bleeds into mundane reality. Uh, we can't wait for you to see this new story and this illuminated world in action and to help provide some context 
uh, to the basic rules that we'll all be using, we'll be releasing a Candela Obscura Quick Start Guide. Yeah! Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for that. You can check out all of the details over at critroll.com. Keep an eye out for a full how to play video. Coming next week. Just distracting. Maybe you should just. Um, (laughs) We have. (laughs) Thank you, Travis. I'm going to say it one more time just for everyone who is staring at his face. We have a quick start guide and a how to play video coming next week on Candela Obscura. And we have so much uh, more in store in this new exciting adventure. And uh, yeah, we're so excited to finally share it with you guys because it's been a long time coming. Yay! Thank you, Marisha. Uh, Lee Metallison, you got a quick announcement Still as well. Still burned in my retinas. Uh, hey, all, uh, our Chronicles of Exandria art book, volume one, is now available uh, in our CR, in uh, the CR shops, Darrington Press Guild stores, and other friendly <laughs> local game stores so that you know. Uh, it's, it's a it's a brick. It's actually received a minor refresh. It's got mm-hmm. uh, five pieces of new to the book artwork, and we are I'm just jazzed to bring it. We've been talking about this for years to bring <laughs> it back to you guys. So hopefully you all will enjoy. Yes. It. Hell yeah! Find it soon. I love it. Woo! Love it. I like it. Pedro a lot. Alrighty. Well, I believe with that, our announcements are concluded. So let's go ahead and jump into Wait, tonight's what? episode. Oh. Oh. No, that doesn't seem right. Critical oh. role. Till we reach the top, two by two we fall. Will we meet our end or meet our destiny? Hold your breath and roll. How do you want to do this? It's Thursday night. All ye critters, come join us. It's time to continue our flight. There is magic and mystery. Who knows what will happen? He might. We never give up on the fight From the healer to the renegade We all share the same goal Adding more allies, taking more chances Hold your breath and roll You can certainly try It's Thursday night All ye critters, come join us It's time to continue our play From darkness our friendship will rise But one thing's for sure We never give up on the fight Oh, get ready It's Thursday night And welcome back. So, last we left off with this half of Bell's Hells. You, with your troop of found family, had plunged into the dangerous realm of the Hellcatch Valley in chase of Ludnus de Leth and the Ruby Vanguard as they attempted to utilize the Apogee Solstice to some terrifying degree in locking onto the Red Moon of Ruidus and in hopes of releasing the terrifying predator of the gods. You, along with your friends, managed to circumvent some of the scope of what you thought might transpire, hopefully. But your airship rained down, destroying a number of members of the Vanguard in its own wake. A number of other ships began to arrive just as you watched as your leader, the voice of the Tempest, was brought low by Odahan Thul, and before death blow could be delivered, some dark guardian rushed in to protect her. This guardian, part of Ludinus's plan, was then drawn, compressed, and turned into a lens for his device. And the last thing you remember was all of the surrounding Ruidus born granting their uh, unintentional energy towards this climactic blast up to the red moon. And then a bright white light engulfed you all, and you awoke in a strange land, 
still at night beneath the starry sky, the kind of shifting tethers of the Apogee Solstice ley line, still visual and multicolored across multiple directions of the sky, like an extended lattice or weave. You don't have much light around you beyond just what little bit of uh, starlight seems to cascade in this space. And what you do see and smell uh, is you found yourselves scattered a bit amongst the climbing cliffs of some sort of a geothermal gorge. You can see splashes of color where deposits of elements and uh, minerals have gathered over who knows how long, but the heavy sulfurous smell itself is overpowering at times. You can hear the bursting of steam from directions beyond your current light source and eyesight. You eventually come together, finding the three of you and no one else. I can't feel my feet, let's role play. All right. Orm skitters down 10 or 15 feet from the outcropping he was on to get down between the two taller friends. Where are we? Where's everybody else? Where is Imogen? Um, if we're in the dark, right? So you are. Can't see anybody from here, can we? I know we looked around. Can make a perception check with advantage. Yeah, Probably because it's dark at night, be disadvantage just the singular so, roll. So I want to look both for our friends or anybody, and I and I, and I see the the line of red from ruidus down over that mountain range, and I'm trying to guesstimate how many miles away we are. Okay, well, perception chance, uh, perception check to look for people, yeah. it would be a nature or survival check to try and ascertain how far you are from that All right. body. All right, I'll, I'll handle right here right first. That's um, 20, dirty 20. 20. Dirty 20 on perception check. You can pick up First off, you can barely make out the gorge stumbling a few hundred feet further down before it begins to even out. And this gorge, the rock is jagged. It is sharp in places. It has been flecked through erosion. Uh, broken stones have caused uh, edges to be almost glass-like in places, where others are a little more worn uh, with time and weather, uh, from what you can tell. But it's a few hundred feet down to the base of the gorge, and even glancing the other way, it's a few hundred feet climbing the other direction to try and get out of it. You're not certain which direction you're facing, other than the direction of the red moon, but even without knowing where you are, you're not entirely certain how that connotates which way is north, which way is south. So, so you're saying we're, we're not entirely sure if we even need to go up or down. We're just in the middle of a gorge. You're really along a cliffside of a gorge with no light. Right, no idea if, if it's safer above oh, or below. Uh, and and in, in, there's like a big, Crev like a crevasse in between us, like the gorge is between us and the direction of the beam of the moon? Uh, where you are now, you are all kind of sitting on the edge of the cliff, like a, like an outcropping of it. There's climbing up, and then there's descending further down. Uh -huh. right, so the, like we're on a slope part correct. somewhere. Um, the little faint bit of ruidus and that red thread that carries it anchored on the horizon is deep on the horizon, like you can barely see it. Um, and it looks to be the kind of the left direction. Like if you're facing out into the expanse of the gorge that descends, you're not certain how far away it opens. You can't really see the rest of it. You just see it kind of vanish into darkness. Um, it's kind of to the left direction of it. And that beam is really far away and small in our eye line. Correct. Survival, 18. 18, not too bad, not too bad. Now looking up and trying to ascertain the uh, the constellations, the stars in the sky. Um, you're not entirely certain where you are, but you can pick up at the very least, based on where that moon is and where you're not, that's likely to the south. Likely to the south. Rudis is likely to the south. We, we, we still have the map. Should we look at the map? Do we have the map? We do, it's in the hole. Oh, we yeah, you're right. I've got the maps now, bitch. <laughs> right. This uh, this is where we were. This is, was the excavation point. And the city was to the south of it. 
roughly? Yes. Yeah, this was where, it theoretically, is where the moon is. So if it's to the south, we are... Where? Either in the... the Rumadon Desert? Up towards the Odiran Wilds? We could be anywhere. You said, this, you said that the, the moon and its uh, laser pointer were slightly off to the left? Uh, if you're like facing out into the gorge, yeah. opening, it's to the left of where you are. Okay, and and with a survival check, did I, did I think that the the light and Rudas were to the south? Correct, of where you currently stand. Okay. Okay, so off the map, maybe. Yeah. Or I don't see anything. Do um, would I, would I know of a location of a giant canyon or a gorge in? Make a in history check. Just a straight history check. Straight history check. 18. 18. Not too bad. Uh, there are a number of, of gorges, chasms uh, throughout Exandria. Um, as far as something this large, especially with this kind type of mineral and geothermal setup, Eighteen's not too bad, actually. You know that there are a handful of places that could kind of mark this sort of uh, elemental chaos that bur that kind of burns up from underneath on this scale. Right. Um, there uh, is in Wild Mount, in the Truscan Vale, there is a mountain range that uh, a portion of the landscape there has heavy geothermal activity. Um, you also know that there is, uh, near the Panagrip Sands, which is on the far eastern side of Marquette, there is uh, a series of, like, a cracked canyon that has been known to have uh, some intense geothermal activity at some times during the year. Uh, there is, in kind of the central region of Asilra, um, a location called the Spectrum Gorge that also has a, a deep amount of uh, geothermal activity. It is still around. I, I, does it make sense that we would be, mm -hmm. if we can still see the moon, that we'd be, we'd be on an, an entirely other continent outside of Marquette? I would think Marquette. With that information, and with your survival role, and how far and low the moon is on the horizon, it's possible. That we're in a different continent. Yes. Um, I relay this. How long we've been unconscious. I relay this information. There's the Truscan Vale in Wildmount, but that seems odd. Uh, Panagrip Sand. Kind of crashes down and sits on his butt in the dirt. Can you? It's silver. Yeah, I don't know. Can you hear anybody in your head? I close my eyes, just concentrate on Imogen, and just whisper her name in my my mind's eye. In the stillness, you hear the nearby <laughs> of steam geysers and. Feel the occasional rumble beneath the rock of your feet, but no response, no voice, no imogen. I don't, I don't sense her at all. What, what happened? They, they were, it's like they were trying to, like everyone was just trying to assimilate. What if she's gone? What if she's not here anymore? What if, what if they killed her? Hold on, hold on. Um, you're not hurt any more than uh, you're not I hurt. I thought about it. Are we hurt? I mean, you are as injured as you were towards the end of your row with the Ludinus and the rest of the Ruby Vanguard. Okay. When, when I, when I died, when we were in Bosphorus, didn't you all say that Imogen? The white light that we all saw, 
Was that similar to, to what she did before? But just on a much grander scale? Yeah. But this was, I don't know, this, this, this felt different, but I don't, I don't know. Oh, hold on, hold on. Um, I'll pull out uh, two sending stones. Um, um, Caleb Widowgast? Are you all right? Where are you? Not sure we're even in Marquette anymore. Please respond. Go ahead and roll a d100 for me, if you don't mind. Oh. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. As you speak into this stone, the words that you press into this uh, temporarily released enchantment, the echo begins to feed back louder and louder, and the stone seems to almost shake in your hand before you have to like drop it, and it clatters, not stumbling off the cliff, you manage to catch it afterward, but it, you get the sense that the sending spell didn't find its recipient. Um. Okay. Uh, well, I got another one. Hold on. Um. Dorian. Can you hear me? Uh. What's the sky look like where you are? Tell me you're okay. Roll a D100 for me. 53. 53. Similar to how the last one did, the echo begins to feed back on itself again. Do you wish to try and hold on to the stone this time? Yeah. You clutch it in your grasp and your whole arm begins to shake as you hear your own voice kind of echoing back and causing more and more of the ripples than itself, expanding and expanding loudly, loudly. It almost begins to hurt the inside of your mind for a second. The rest of you don't hear anything. You just watch the stone begin to shake, an orm tensing while clutching it before eventually it fades. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Ashton? Look at this. This is this is fucking funny. Don't drop it, please. This is fucking funny. I'm gonna walk the fuck away and I'm gonna start beating yeah, the this. fuck out of the closest piece of rock that I can find. With it's with it's a dark cliff. Please don't <coughs> fall into it. So <coughs> I'm away from the fucking cliff. There's nothing happening at the sound of that, is there? Uh, it's a heavy echo. Coming. Yeah. I'm just going to All start right. sending messages just in case it's not far, but in case they're just on a cliff that we can't see, I'm going to send a, a message first. I already tried a mission, but to Chetney. No response. I will sit the fuck down. Fern. No response. I don't know. FCG, one last chance. No response. Ashton, what are you, what do you want? <sighs> Just needed to feel a little better. <sighs> okay, well, I can't stay here. I'll starve or something. <laughs> We'll flip a coin, I don't even fucking know. How bad does Up look? It looks as treacherous as Down does, just in an, <laughs> an upward motion. And we can't uh, see the bottom. You cannot see the bottom of the gorge from where you stand, no. Um, what you can see, the stars above, and you can see the gentle waves of the colored 
ley line bits of energy that just kind of shift and move ever so faintly like distant drifting river currents to the sky. I still have pate, correct? You do. I'm gonna pull him out. Hey, hey. Are you all right? Yeah, I think I'm okay. Not too bad, eh? Do you have any recollection of what just happened? It got kind of crazy, didn't it? It just sort of went white and flashy and stuff, and now we're all just in a weird place. But, you know, I'm used to just riding along with it. That's fair. I, I, I need you to scout for us, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, cool. You have your dark vision, right? Oh, I do. Like, you can see within, like, the, uh, the crevices of the uh, bird skull that is attached to this <laughs> necromantic con construction of yours. Um, within that void, there's like a slight blue purple energy that kind of flashes. Hey. Try going down first. Yeah, you can do that. The ribs tear out of the center of the body, forming the odd bat wings and. Martin's <laughs> eyes also gloss over white, with a little tint of that blue sheen. I hold on to Orm's shoulder just because vertigo on this cliff face. <laughs> As you ride through your own miniature drone VR experience. Um, <laughs> Pate is. Ventures over California. Exactly. Uh, cruises through and down past the edges, and you can see there are these spires that climb up, created from who knows how many centuries of just. Uh, mineral buildup, and uh, there are these steam plumes and uh, heavy toxic fumes that kind of pour out of cracks of uh, nearby opened kind of subterranean elemental uh, rivers that kind of burst and collect down below. Uh, there's no color to his vision in the dark vision, so you can just see the, the textures and the forms and the bits of bubbling and boiling liquid that you can see gathered in pools of extremely hot liquid. Um, Clambering down, go make perception check for Pate for me, if you don't mind. Pate's perception? Yes. I'm going to let me see that. That's his wisdom, right? Yes. Come on, familiar. Mm. Wisdom modifier. He has dark. Oh, his. Not his passive perception, just his Correct. Just pull and add the wisdom. Mm. And it's at eight. That's eight. So familiar. All right. <laughs> Eventually, skitters down to what he thinks would be the lowest portion of this part of the gorge, and it's about a 400-foot descent, mostly sheer cliffs and drops with occasional uh, smooth declines. Uh, pretty treacherous, um, but upon getting towards the bottom, you can see there are multitudes of different levels of pools that are giving off kind of acidic fume, and uh, some that are just kind of boiling with heavy, thick mud. All right, let's just tell him in his head. That looks awful. Head on up. Yeah, right, coming all back. <laughs> kind of gathers up to join you. I send him I send him up. Okay. Once he gets back to the scout. Cruises by. Um, it's about 150 to 200 feet until the lip of the gorge is accessible. Um, still a dangerous climb, but not impossible. Um, as Pate begins to catch over the edge, there is a ring of extremely dense flora, a, uh, a, a forest or jungle-like uh, cluster of growth that seems to have heavily affixed itself to the mineral-rich earth and soil just on the outside of this gorge. So right as you come up to the lip in the edge of it, there is just a thick cluster of forest that seems to surround it on all sides. All right, well, down looks like death. Um, bubbling geysers, hot liquid, very bad. I think we should go up. Less likely to get ambushed. I, I do too, we don't know where we are, but I mean, the only thing we can do is head towards that. Motioning at the moon. Yeah. So maybe if we get to the top and go around the edge and start heading that way if we can. All right. Do we have some rope? Probably in the... In the Always. Way. I have rope. Do you have rope? <clears throat> All right. How shitty a climber are we looking at above us? Um, there are... 
it's not impossible by any means, mm. and there are safer routes than others, <laughs> but a lot of the rock here, it's hard to tell until you're at it how strong or fragile it is. Um, and a lot of the edges are pretty sharp. The, uh, the makeup of the particular rock and the way that it's either eroded or crumbled or recently broke and fell in there uh, tends to be kind of jagged at certain points. So it's not easy. I have my immovable rod. Oh. oh, yeah. Perhaps I can give it to you. You can maybe get a bit of a head start, and we can just keep moving it up with the rope tied to it that way. That's a great call. Put you in the middle. All right, I've got Featherfall in case there's any emergencies. No, that may actually mean. Do we maybe want to put you in the back you in the middle. If because you've got if Featherfall. End, if you go tumbling down, I can yeah. catch you. Um, yeah, let's not <laughs> lose anybody else on this. That's great. <laughs> This day sucks! <laughs> so how's this thing That's work? Yeah, it's just a little little button at the end. Click it into place and it won't move. Mm. Quite handy. Weird. All right, well. Do your boots still work? I try to leap up the canyon face 10 feet. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna try to go up like 30 or 40 feet. All right, I will, with rod and rope, uh, and I'll have the, I'll tie the rope for now around my waist while I do my flea jumping. Okay. And leap up. All right. Uh, I will say for you all to climb the side of this cliff with this setup, let's go and do a group athletics check for me, if you don't mind. <clears throat> ath ath athletics? Does athletics, it help yeah. if Orem is mountain goning up and then Tying the rope to an immovable rod, so that we have a—it's essentially like putting yeah, a. It, it, it's adjusted the DC to awesome. a lower DC. Understood. But it's still a test. Does, Earth, does Earthwalk help at all? Earthwalk for you? Yeah. Yeah. All you, right. you can walk through the gorge. And I can't like use acrobatics. <laughs> no. No. All right. Sorry. Uh, oh, this is athletics. This is athletics. That's not as good. So. <laughs> Yeah, Earth, <laughs> Earthwalk will also give some sort of advantage to this, or yeah, yeah. If you want, if you want to expend it, I actually it's not expendable. It's just a thing. Uh, Let's see here. You can move across difficult terrain made of earth or stone without Correct. expending extra movement, so, yeah. but so, like up, yeah. So I'll say for this, I'll give you an advantage on your roll for this. Oh, that's mm. nice. That's all. Okay. That's, so that's all I wanted to hear. Five. Pro five. Perfect. Sixteen. Okay. That's. I mean, that tracks. Yeah, dislocated. Twenty-four. A, a shoulder. <laughs> First, first lift. <laughs> <laughs> While you were there to catch Ashton the entire way, you uh, thankfully just caught yourself. Pop out of the socket as you kind of dangle there. Um, it's all right, pops back in. Come on. But slowly, one by one, you begin to climb up the side of the cliff. Um, as you progress up the side to the next major platform, there is a sound that begins to call your attention just as Laudan begins to clamber up off the side. A direction? About five feet from where you're standing. Oh. And I'm the first one. <laughs> Yay! A massive spout of extremely hot steam begins to just spray out of the side of this. I need all three of you to make dexterity saving throws for me, please. Oh. Not great. Okay. Uh, I have advantage on this also. You did. Yeah. You did. He didn't see her coming. So you no, do. Oh, barbarian. I, I. Yeah. Okay. Good. So yes. Uh, just a deck save. Twenty-one. You take six points of fire damage. Oh, fuck it. Uh, Ten for me. Uh, you take twelve points oh, of fire damage from the steam. Being proximity to it, that makes sense. And you. Sixteen. Sixteen. You take. Uh, six points of fire damage. All right. So I could use indomitable, but I'll save it. Yeah. You actually kind of blocked most of it from your two companions as they climbed up, but you have a brightly stinging face now. Great. It begins to look good in two days. Withdraw from the buildup of steam. Do you think it turns into a tan? I think it turns into blisters. Um, Does it look like a thing now that it's stopped doing that? Can we identify these things if we come across them again? It's just a, a geyser went off. Yep. There, there are all number of like small cracks and areas where you can see slight protrusions of mineral and little bits of steam and heat that rise out. So now that you've immediately seen one, it will help you in uh, avoiding things that are of a similar 
sight as you move upward. Yeah, I will start turning my 31 passive perception ears towards bubbling in the ground. As yeah, you got I'm pretty it. sure if I get hit with too many of those, my skin will just fall off. It's barely on there. I know, me. exactly. Yeah, just, just slough away. It's not great, just slough off. Slough off, slough off, slough off. Slough off, slough off, slough off. Continuing to climb using the same technique, mm. you make it up two more ledges. Um, as you reach up to the edge with uh, the rod and kind of push up carefully, looking around the space with your extremely, extremely well honed uh, passive perception, um, you see something moving in the shadow on this cliff. And this is the top, or this is you're about to climb. This is in the top. This is this is midpoint. two thirds of the way up from where you began. Okay. Alive. You see something shift in the shadows. I Minute mean, like is calling this cliffside home. Um, I'm gonna lower back down a foot or two. Or on my grip. Or on the grip. It sucks. Click. I'm, I'm, I'm reaching down and pulling you up. Oh, okay. Oh, thank yep. God. I start to try to spider climb, not the spell, my way sideways. All right. Oh so God, you're all right. making a. I have a... spider climb. <laughs> I could have done that this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played this character in months. <laughs> do you? I do. <laughs> so you both carefully. It's also it's a second level spell though, and I'm I am a little tapped, so I don't want to spend it unless I have to. Okay, so you're so. holding off for now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stick with okay. the plan. You can always right. kick it on in an emergency. Yes. Perfect. Uh, can I get a group? Stick with CrossFit. Stealth check. Stealth check. As you now stealthily attempt to climb past this ledge. Stealth check. 18. 18. Come on, gang. <gasps> what the fuck is wrong with you? That was a journey to natural one. Mm. 19? Dang. <sighs> That's a dead even. As you begin to climb up, in deciding not to cast your spell, you carefully begin to. Oh, it's good, I got this! <laughs> Just as. Oh, I needed a workout! This one little outcropping that you had used to push off with your foot just gives away and snaps under your weight. You stump, you actually fall about two feet of rope, kind of tugging on it. Your foot catches another rock, which cracks and falls again. The rest of you here. Oh. Of the rock stumbling, and her calling outward. Oh, my knee! Oh. You hear oh. movement Suck from the nearby shelf, scrambling towards you. Okay, I leave the rope tied to the rod, and I immediately spring climb up and get up and go. Hey, the minute up on the ledge. Okay, the minute you do, you jump and run on the ledge, looking right into an individual standing there on the edge. Uh, Amy, if I could have you. Shit, that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, we actually yeah. we, uh, clink up, move down. Oh, oh shit! Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's back in the house. Let's go! Oh my gosh! Hi, friend. Mom. Oh, my God. Hi. Mom. Oh, there she's oh. Oh. Welcome back, darling. Hello. Welcome back. Hello. 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 Hi, 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 hi. I was going to stab you. Dang. Still time. Yep. Still time. Nice. You might want to after this. As you spring up and land, uh, you, uh, having been taking stock of where the hell you might be and why, you hear some skittering nearby, prepare yourself to try and stay hidden, and then suddenly watch as a smaller man leaps in front and shouts hey to you, and what does he see? Well, there's a lot to see, so maybe we'll start from the top. Uh, what you might notice first is a real flash of big brown, blonde, highlighted, gel-crunched hair that sort of <laughs> moved to one side of her shoulder, and yes. if we're sort of making her way down her four-foot-two dwarven body, you might notice that her skin color is sort of the, well, it's sort of like the color of like cafe con leche, but like with an extra shot in it. Um, so like 
kind of dark and Latina flavored, and mm -hmm. she's covered in sort of colorful traditional tattoos. Mm -hmm. um, but and she's got a lot of them, but two of them stand out more than the rest. There's one on one of her shapely biceps that it's sort of like a heart, uh, like a banner heart tattoo, but instead of mom, it says me. And <laughs> <laughs> and on, and on one of the sides of her neck, she's got a really large cursive D, sort of like adorning her neck right next to the two hoops she has that say fuck off. Yeah. Um, and her body looks Boy. like one of these like, you know those party balloons, like inflated party balloons that people move into shape? So like, you take one and twist the middle like a few times, so she's like real tiny in the middle, but like big up top and on the bottom. And she's sturdy and like really stout, but kind of like committed to being hyper feminine in the way that a lot of women in male dominated fields tend to be. So like a lady cop with like acrylic nails or something like that sort yes. of. Um, yes. And she's got these really pronounced eyebrows, but she has like a slit in the middle that's sort of like shaved in. Cool. And my favorite thing about her is that she's got a little Monroe piercing that looks like a diamond beauty mark, you know, like a little. <laughs> and um, her vibe is very much like my New Yorkan cousin meets like a rockabilly sort of girl, meets a mob wife, meets like Real Housewives of Staten Island. Um, <laughs> and she's wearing a corset and pants and jewel encrusted boots and a really ornate gold belt where she's hanging like a really cool, great sickle. And then also a whip. Sickle. And her face looks pissed as fuck. Oh, hey. Who are you? Um, do you live here? No. Do I look like I live here? No. I just... I'm sweating, first of all. Where the fuck are we? I don't know. Um, I have two friends hanging off the edge of the cliff. Can I have them come up with us, or are you about to? Yeah, you need help, I got a whip. Um, well, okay. Ah. Uh... Can we look to see how far they are from the landing? You go ahead and glance over to the side, and you can see there is a an iron-like rod that is just floating in the middle oh, of the air. Oh, shit. And from it, you see a tied rope, and dangling below, there are two figures. Uh, if you want to quickly describe yourself um, in your current state, uh, a strange-looking uh, uh, humanoid made of green stone with like a, a purple amethyst hair and a weird indentation on the uh, side of their head that's got uh, like a glass crystal view where you can almost see an opal underneath the glass. Um, the stone is cracked in strange places and it's been filled in with gold and they're wearing uh, a lot of uh, torn up black uh, black leather um, and on the just you can see on the back of the like black leather uh, jacket it says just don't so. <laughs> and then below him you see a very <laughs> uh, gaunt woman very sunken in cheeks her skin is deathly pale Maybe for a reason, and you see like dark circles under her eyes, and like like dark pools of purple where like the blood has just kind of settled and coagulated, with long stringy black hair that this steam and heat is not doing any favors towards. <laughs> and then she just has it kind of pulled up in a messy bun, uh, with a big rock chisel through it to hold it up, and just patchy dress that she looks like she just made out of scraps, and she's trying not to scream because I think I dislocated my knee. Oh. Guys. Kneecap, there's, side of my leg. There's someone up here, but. Baby, I hate to tell you they look half dead already. Can they reset my knee? It's, you'll get used to it. Uh, we'll get you patched up. We're cool, right? So far. What can I do to help? I got this, I got this whip. Well, help me pick up the green guy. He's heavy. Okay. So. Hold still, Lana. <laughs> I'll start hoisting up with my massive halfling muscles. <laughs> so should I just like grab you from the middle and just start like just pull back pulling back? <laughs> Much like, easier just, with your help. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm climbing. I'm actually putting some climb in. Well, I'm not gonna. As much as I would appreciate and uh, enjoy watching you try and pull us both up. This is, uh... As a group effort together, it's not very difficult to bring up this, you know, relatively heavy individual and this feather. Um, but you all managed to, <laughs> you clamber up onto this cliff where you had just kind of taken stock for a moment to try and figure out what the hell is going on. And now, you, for once there was one, now there is four. Hmm. Oh look, a weird person on a cliff. That's normal for the well, day. I didn't, I didn't, I just showed up here. Do you know how you got here? We also just showed up here. Okay. Wait, what are you, 
Were you at the excavation site? Were you a part of the, the moon ritual? No. Where were you an hour ago? On the planet. I was in Taldore. I was looking for my fucking ex-fiance who left me in a lurch. I was about to find him and all of a sudden, poof, loud noise, crack, here I am. Some guy talking, here I am. Wait, he left you? Yeah. What, that's, what, what an asshole. Oh, it's a very long story. Oh my God, well, I wanna hear all about it. But, but, but first, what, what's your name? Mona. I felt like you had to think about that for a second. Yeah, I gotta think about it. I'm not gonna tell you my real name yet. I don't know you that well. Oh. Then What's I'm, your name? Then I'm Zed. You don't look like a fucking That's, Zed. You know, My real like name Zed. is Orem. Why don't you want to tell us your name? Because I don't know you. What if you're looking for me? Uh, I guess so. What if you know about me? Should we know about you? You're very fabulous. No, you're very Are fabulous. you famous? No. Not for not for good reasons. Okay, what's your name? Lodna. Oh, that's beautiful. Like the poison? Oh, uh, you kind have of? a good good ear. Yeah, yes. no, I've been you around. You know your uh, etymology. Mm. Every fucking new person. Ashton. Oh yeah, that fits you real nice. Thank you. Zed, Orem, Lodna, Ashton. Hello. Like oh. the earrings. Mm. Thank you. Mm. I like Mona. Thank you. It's a very pretty name, even if it's not your real one. Yeah, I'll tell you my real one later. All right. Okay, so where were you guys? Oh boy. You said excavation site? Yes, we were on Marquette. Oh, so hang on a second. You see, um, Lon just kind of bends down, just kind of takes the blunt part of the heel of her hand and just cracks her <laughs> knee back into shape. Man. Yes, we were on Marquette. Oh. Uh, it was a lot. T were you outside? Did, did, were you, wherever the fuck you were, did the the sky get weird, did you? Yeah. What was the last thing you saw before you came here? Well, I saw my dumb fuck ex-fiance's face from like, I don't know, like a hundred feet away. Okay. I was about to go grab his ass. And then I saw the sky, like I looked up and there was like all these colors and stuff, right? And then there was like a voice, like a speech. Wait, did it sound like, um, like it came from a crusty old elven man? Super yes. Pretentious. Super pretentious. Super pretentious. Super pretentious. Yes. Like, he didn't think he could smell his own farts. Yeah. Kind of that kind of a voice. Kind of like that, that's right. Yeah. And then a crack. But you were in Taldore. Yeah. You could hear, she could hear lewdness. You, you know, know that guy? Continent. What, what did the sky look like at the end? Well, I wasn't really, I was just kind of like focused on the one guy. Okay. But it was like a real like bright thing. And then here I am, hot as fuck. I don't think we're on Taldore, by the way. I don't know if we're on Marquette either. Yeah. You do glance up, Mona, and as you're kind of telling the story, you can look up and you can see some of those colored threads that mm. you know you recall from this. But where you were, they were much denser, kind of oh. like they're all leading in a different direction from where you currently are. Uh, I'm from Taldore. Oh uh, yeah. I didn't. Not just now. Oh. Months ago. Okay. Sephra, where, oh. where were you? When you got yoinked. I was there. Okay. What were you doing there? Well, I was born and raised there. Oh, you were born and raised there. Yeah. That's nice. Mm -hmm. It's a nice town. The best. Wait, does your, does your ex-fiance live in Zafra? You know what, I actually don't even know where the fuck I was. I don't even remember. I think I have some sort of amnesia or something. Oh, I just was like really like, I have like a scent about him and I was following him for months because he left me high and dry. Not just at the altar, but with a bunch of whatever. <gasps> anyway, doesn't matter. How do we get out of here? <laughs> Is there anything that could kill us right now nearby? Uh, I mean, the fall. Um, Is there anything alive besides the four of us? Make a perception check. Okay. Oh boy. Straight Honestly, roll. he sounds like such a bag of dicks. He's a bag of dicks. <sighs> So, so? 21. 21. Um, nothing that you can see, but the you do hear the sound of something else that doesn't resemble the bursting of geysers or releasing of steam. More like a low clicking noise that's echoing a distant from here. Something else that catches your ear is not being worth waiting around for. I'm going to put that in the bad column. We were. Um in the process of climbing out of this crater. Mm -hmm. you wanna come with? I would love to. Okay. How do we do it? Well. How, how much further? Mm -hmm. 
Are we still on the uh, edge of a cliff face, or have we made it to like, you, the woods? Two thirds. Well, way up. you're about two thirds of the way up. You're about maybe a little under a hundred feet up from the edge at this point. All right. Yeah, let's embrace the chaos. Fuck it. Right. We've got extra rope. I got extra whip. <laughs> Perfect. So I can do one more group athletics check with all four of you. Welcome to party, Mona. Yep. Well, I like the party. You guys party? <laughs> Oh, oh good days. Natural 20. Hey. Ooh. Dang. Ooh. Look at that. All righty. Oh, First roll of the Ooh. game. You're stuck. God damn. Eight. Okay. Uh, 27. Oh, thank God. 11. 11. So that natural 20 put you over the edge. All right. Fuck. That's <laughs> <laughs> two successes in the group tool. So uh, as harrowing as the journey along this cliff face continues to be, uh, your new companion seems to know her way around physical activity. Uh, she has a good eye for the nearby stone and ledges that seem strong and you know, durable, and manages to catch you a couple times in an uh, approximate moment away from stumbling, until eventually you begin to clamber up to the very edge of the cliff and where the stone begins to give way to earth and root, and the trees greet you upon reaching the gorge mouth. Now as you stand at the top, you can kind of take in a little bit of the, the sights around you. You can just now see from this point in time the edges of the gorge, that the bit of starlight, and a little bit of that faint colorful glow from the uh, deep sky ley lines help kind of frame. Uh, this is a, a large canyon that spreads out for probably a mile and a half, two miles across the way, you can guess. It's hard to tell depth without you know color in that much detail, but it definitely looks massive. Um, from where you stand here, on this edge of it, if the moon, the red moon Ruidus, still visible on that edge is to the south, then you are probably on the northeastern side of this gorge. Okay. Well, we're out of the giant hole, for now. Well, I think until Some we get- improvement. Until we get our bearings, we follow the edge. There's gotta be a civilization around here somewhere. We'll just keep walking. <sighs> we're able towards Ruidus. So we were gonna head towards the big, scary moon that fell out of the sky. If you wanted to join us. I would love to join you, but how about right. first we take like a little bit of like a drink out of something, and she pulls out like a flask. Oh, thank something. God. Like a little alcohol in it and passes it around. Oh, my God. Oh, God, thank you. You might need that for your knee. Yes, please. I need it for my everything. <laughs> just for just <laughs> That's not, that's not, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> no, Gonna get sunburned with that. <laughs> um, uh, while, while Mona, is passing out the drink, mm. and we've been climbing the hill for a while. Do I get the sense, using my fighter abilities, that she's either has any levels in fighter, and mm. how is her dex compared to mine? You do not sense any levels in fighter. Okay. Um, her dex is not quite as high as yours. Okay. Okay. So but it's not too shabby. <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what are we drinking, by the way? Um, I think that she would have some sort of like liqueur, like maybe, you know, strong, like sure. real strong, but like almost like, um, anybody ever have Nalevka? It's sort of like a Polish drink. Mm -hmm. It's sort of mm -hmm. like a limoncello, yes. but super oh. strong. It's oh, yeah, almost yeah, like absolutely. Everclear, or they use Spiritus. Yeah. It's something like that. Mm -hmm. So just a sip will do you, you know. <laughs> or, you. or him drinks a little longer than you'd imagine he would. <laughs> <laughs> you can drink a lot. No, I'm, I, it's uh, volume. Uh. I probably take twice as much as I should and never break eye contact. Oh, tense. That's very reasonable. <clears throat> I just want a sipper. I'm a, I'm a lightweight. <laughs> That's fun. There's literally That's nowhere for it to go. It's true. It's right to my carotid artery. <laughs> How are you actually feeling now that we're not hanging from a cliff? Oh, I feel like I'm still hanging from a cliff in my head. Yeah, you don't look good even for you. Wow, thank you, yes. I'm obviously deeply terrified about the rest of the group, mainly Imogen. 
hope she's alive. <laughs> Compartmentalization is very strong at the moment. No, I'm... So you guys were traveling together, and then you got separated from, from a part of your group? Our group yes. was about twice as big. We were miles, hundreds of miles, maybe. Literally an ocean away. Maybe an ocean away. And Just like you. Another one of our members, Imogen. She's very wonderful, very capable, very strong. She got a little bit um, wrapped up in this whole um, Red Moon business. I don't know if... I don't know anything about it. I don't fuck with the gods. I don't do any of that. Yes, yes. Um, she had a very strong connection to Rudis, and turns out there are quite a few people across Exandria who have a very strong connection to the Red Moon, and um, I don't know. Hope they're still here. Maybe they're on the moon. Maybe they're all a giant hive mind that are just destined to take over the world. It's um, kind of hard to say. Well, that's really fucking scary. Yeah. It's a little scary, Mona. Try not to think about it. So should we look for other people? Oh. Yeah, that hadn't occurred to me. Let's just get out of here. That's a good idea. That way, and point at the moon. Okay, you can see the direction there. Because where you stand, like you're kind of, the gorge itself is almost towards the base of a of a gentle valley area, mm -hmm. and so you don't really have a good vantage point for other bits of the surrounding terrain. All you have is the, right now the marker for the red moon. Yeah. So okay. I think like just trying to guesstimate, even if we have to go off course to return to course. Yeah, totally. Okay. So following around the edge of the gorge, are you staying within the tree line, just along the side, or are you? It's a very, it's about a five foot gap before it goes to a straight gorge drop off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's not slip on any rocks in the dark. Or get hit by something and go flying. And um, still dark as fuck, I assume. Mm -hmm. I'll just constantly listening and looking. Uh, and I'll, I'll lead the way by like five or six feet. Okay. All right. So as you're all carefully going through, I assume stealthily as you journey, mm -hmm. slow but steady. Mm -hmm. All right. Have group stealth check for me if you don't group mind. Group stealth. 19. Oh, jeez, Luis. Laden is back, baby! <laughs> 11. 19. 24. Dang. Nice. Your bones are just snapping a lot. And resisting <laughs> don't look, don't look, so it's hard so good. to look at all your shit. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe maybe Mona goes up the rear, like, you know, in the, like they're booking in. Book into you got it. So as you're moving through here, you get a little close up to the, the trees and the, the floor here. Um, what little bit of light that you can muster from the moonlight. Uh, you imagine during the day this might be a beautiful area. Mm. Um, you see pops of color and there is a vibrance here. All the growth here is extremely healthy. Um, overgrown, you would say, this close to the mineral rich gorge. Um, the air around here, the, it still carries that chemical and like sulfur smell from the interior uh, of the, the chasm, but now there's like an earthy, almost sickly sweet wind that occasionally cuts through the smell as you move across the edge. Um, that kind of natural earthiness with almost like an extremely potent pollen-like smell, like a like a very sweet flower scent with other kind of natural scents that come through with the occasional <sighs> of the wind. Uh, it's chilly, um, but you're surrounded by very, very lush greenery as you kind of push through the trees and the tangle. Now that I have a little bit more context with the lush mineral forest and the chilly breeze, does that clue me in a little bit more to my three potential locations from earlier? Yeah, is it forest or jungle? Uh, it's hard to see this hard close up. It's If it's forest, it's extremely overgrown forest. You don't see any of the trees that look like uh, like jungle vines. Mm -hmm. Or anything, but the the brush, the the ferns, the the tree canopies themselves are extremely thick. Mm. Does um, it look humid, or not really? You would think that, but the air itself isn't that humid. Mm -hmm. um, especially as you pull out of the gorge, and which that sort of moisture that exists in there by the thermal activity is more sparse. Mm. Um, you do hear the rushing of a nearby river, a little ways into your journey. And you do see eventually it comes, there's a river that cuts through and then turns into a waterfall that cascades down into the gorge, which was part of that kind of distant hissing sound that you heard as you climbed. You realize it was now one of those sounds was a waterfall not too far from where you had landed. Which is different than the clicking sound? Yes. Okay. Okay. Clicking sound never quite caught up to you guys. Okay. Um, <laughs> but continuing on for another hour into the night. 
following that path. It's slow moving, careful. Um, so no more context clues to where we might be? Sorry, coming back to your context mm-hmm. clues here. Yeah. Um, if you were in Wildmount, you would likely not be able to see Ruidus if it was still where it was when you left. If time has shifted and changed and it's moved to a different location in the world, that would mix it up. But if if you if this was if Rudis was still lingering over where it was in Marquette, you would not be able to see it from Wild Mount. Great, no further answers. Good. Who knows? There's no honestly we could be in a whole nother plane. We could. Rudis was showing up in, in Feywild, motherfucker. Mona, what year is it? And I know that neither Amy or I know the year. (laughs) (laughs) What year is it? (laughs) What year is it? Mona. Angela. Jonathan. Hey, hey, Dungeon Master. Dungeon Master. Which one is it? Um, Danny. (laughs) <laughs> no, I got it, I got it. Come on, notes here, hold on. All I want to know is, is it the same year, year. that I woke up in? Right. Your mm-hmm. month day. 843 PD. Your, your month day. Or, yeah, just just to double check, it's the, what what day, if Do we, we are all yeah. sharing are the same Are we on day. the same, on the same year? time? Does the answer surprise So us? let's say no. it at the same time, ready? <laughs> 837 Grassy Knoll. <laughs> Grassy Knoll. Nailed it. Nailed it one. It's your stripper name. Grassy Knoll. Grassy Knoll plus the name of your first uh, pet. No. <laughs> oh, that, gets, that gets awkward. Okay, this yeah. is perfect. All right. Um, okay. No, I would say uh, you would be asking this question. So we wouldn't know what day it is, but we would know if we vanished on the same, well. I just want to know if we error jumped. Mm. Or if we went to Exandria 832 mm-hmm. instead of our 831. Right. Uh, for the sake of my internet, it's not working, I can't get my notes. Um, the date is pretty spot on. Okay. Okay. So you haven't, there hasn't been a lapse of time. Mm. Mm-hmm. In fact, it's the same evening where the beginning of the Apogee Solstice kicked in. Cool. So that uh, five-minute discussion took four seconds. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. No, and I can tell. I could tell because of my cycle, you know, too. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> We're the just, same day. just. I yes. I got it. My mother is a, a, a midwife. Woman. Yeah, no, <laughs> yes. <A> midwife. <laughs> midwife. Midwife. I grew up around a lot. Mm, yes. You've seen where I live. Yeah. Don't have one of those anymore. Oh no! Mm-hmm. Lucky you. It's, it's kind of a perk. Yeah, I'll say. Okay, so what time of day is it? Like, is it nighttime this and is, like su- like middle of the night? Middle of the night. You've been journeying for an hour or two at this okay. point, both climbing up the side, side of the cliff as well as along the side of the gorge, heading in the direction Do of the. Do we see the... like any lights, any kind of civilization, like anything at all that would suggest we're close to a settlement or anything? Nothing in the gorge. You make a perception check. Once again, this is. Unfortunately, the the outside of it seems to like rise up like a bowl of shadow up oh, into the horizon, right. and you can just see a little bit of red moon. It's so at this we're point, still we're in a flat forest area, but still in the gorge. You're on the very edge of it, like where, the, the, where the lip of it ended, and the rest of the area around it is filled with this forest. Can we maybe get a vantage point at the top of one of these trees. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, thanks. Or I'll climb a tree and try to see in the dark. Okay, so I'll spot yeah, you. And I send pate with him. Okay. <laughs> oh, who's that? Oh my goodness! I'm so rude. I should have introduced you. This is pate. You see what, my what, what looks like a bird uh-huh. flies over. Uh, the closer it gets, you realize the the body is less of a bird body and more like a dangling possum or a rat. Oh, fuck. Um, it, instead of it has wings, but the wings are. Torn rib cages that are like torn open, and the the flesh now becomes the the inside of the wings itself. <laughs> the head is a skinless, fleshless bird skull, and immediately swoops down and goes, "Hey, nice to meet you." Oh, <laughs> hello. 
Uh, he's very hey. nice. Is he okay? He's great. He's a little creepy. He was my sanity project like several years ago. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so like, yeah, he came alive one day. Nice to meet you. Yeah. You too. You behave. <laughs> hey, listen whoa, to me. Whoa. Behave yourself. Yes, don't ma'am. get weird. Don't get creepy. Eyes up here. Exactly. What do I, I know. Have eyes? Oh, well, <laughs> um, whatever up here. Sockets. Pitch black voids. Sockets, yes, yeah. up here. Sockets. Sockets. Got it. <laughs> Situated, understood, processed, all good. Good, good. Come good. on with you. <laughs> it loops up after <laughs> or no such thing as a sanity clause. Uh, uh, up we go. <laughs> all right. Uh, with uh, Mona's help. Spot me. Mm-hmm. Would make an athletics check with advantage? Yeah. Uh, what's that say? That's a tiny number. That's a 14 plus, what am I doing? Ath- ac- athletics. Athletics, and then it's an 18. 18, not bad. Um, you climb up to the top of this tree, and like the, the trees in the edge of the gorge are probably some of the taller ones, based on the proximity to the mineral. As you climb up to the top and just begin to push through the canopy, you have a better perspective on the surrounding, and this is indeed like a rolling valley. Um, what bit of detail you can make out in the proximity uh, it just looks like the lush blanket of the rolling forest around. Uh, go and make a perception check for me. Oh, Bilbo back and sing it. Yeah. Uh, but it's dark, so straight roll, right? Uh, yes. That is perception, you say? Yes. It is a tw- dirty 20. Dirty 20. You can see breaks beyond it, uh, where it looks like the valley becomes less forest dense and more just kind of grassy hills, and you can see some hills that rise up high in some places. Uh, You also can see above the weave of the ley lines gathering, a little bit in what you would guess of the moon is south, in a northeastern eastern direction to a similar nexus point. Probably a number of miles off, 20, 50, you're not sure. Um, are these like are they intersections where it like strikes and splits yep, off? Where they all kind of pulled from different areas and some like overlap and some combine and some come together, but you see them all kind of conjoining into one like bright rainbow kind of uh, gathering web Ooh. of arcane energy up in the air. Hmm. Not unlike one you saw above Amalia's key earlier this evening. Um, you can see kind of in that direction as well. There are little lights along parts of the distant valley. With a 20, you do see a township kind of loosely in that same direction. Is that deviating from our direction towards Ruidus? Uh, that would be in the kind of eastern northeast, okay. yes. That, that's that's kind of an opposite direction. But it's, to, toward, it's toward a cluster of, of the... Yeah, near one of these, okay. these nexus points. To the north, uh, northeast beyond that, you can see a massive mountain range that kind of rolls beyond that. It, it kind of climbs a decent height, but it seems to encompass about a quarter of the uh, kind of the perspective in that direction of the night. And past a certain point, it just becomes shadow before you can see where the mountains kind of break. To the north, where that mountain range subsides, there is one singular mountain that rises higher than any you've ever seen. Just one spire-like peak that seems to climb up to the point where it disappears into a little bit of cloud cover has gathered in that space. Hmm. And the only reason you can see it is because a little bit of starlight is glistening off of the snow cap that encompasses the majority of its peak from the center up. I've read a decent amount. Have I read where the highest mountains in the world are? Roll a history check. It's not a high DC. Oh, damn. Super low roll. 12. 12? Yeah. Unfortunately, not quite crossed to your attention, but maybe you can find somebody who knows later. To the far west and southwest, a very tall and dangerous looking mountain range consumes about a, a third of the horizon. Like a, a, a crown of teeth. It just kind of marks this deep shadow that leaves the entire western side of this valley. You just sense like you don't even want to travel near it, almost. Um, To the south, in the direction of Ruitus, 
You can see beyond this valley where the hills roll, some other small little bits of, of mountain ranges come to an end. And you're familiar with this site. Beyond that, faint glittering on water ocean. of an ocean that stretches far beyond from the landmass that you currently stand on. It's the place we've never been. Isilara. But is that where the jagged cracked? The jag the jagged teeth. Was the resident called the shattered teeth? Shattered, or the shattered teeth, right? Jagged. Shattered teeth is elsewhere. Well, that's Wildmount, right? That's south of Wildmount. I don't know where we are. Elsewhere from what? This is Liam talking. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Well, the way we find out is we head towards a town. Honestly, mm. not to you know, tell you your business, but I think you need to sleep at some point. I'd Were you talking to me? You... Oh, I, I thought you guys had come down. Never mind. Keep fucking. But Orem. No. Pate. There. Hey. Popped ahead. You see, so get in your house. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, there's mountain. We're in, in a nexus point of a lot of. Goddamn mountains, um, but there were towns or, or homes, and then and a village or, or or town of some kind. So, I think new plan. We head towards civilization of any kind. I like that plan. Place to sleep. Place to find out where we where actually we are. fucking are. Yeah. All right. Does the river that we found kind of follow along that way? Uh, it furthers more, it goes directly east, which goes somewhat in the direction, but you probably have to eventually diverge unless the river itself continues that direction. But from where you're seeing now, it's going eastward. Sorry. How long a trek did that look like to reach that? With that perception roll, you're not entirely sure. Okay. You don't have enough light here in the middle of the night. You just kind of saw it and kind of gathered a, a okay. ballpark distance. It's some, it could be five miles, 20 miles, 100 mm. miles. It's hard to tell. Jesus. Well, why don't we follow the river until we need to split from it? Cities tend to pop up around rivers. You're very smart. <laughs> I like you. Yeah, you're very smart. <laughs> I, mean, I can we, tell. It's nice to have a new friend, especially with like such a stressful time. We've Listen, had. if you want to jump on my back at any point, I can take it. Oh my goodness. Give you knee a break. It's great. You're so strong too. Yeah, I'm strong. What do yeah. you do? Like, what's your occupation? Oh, uh, none of your fucking business yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's walk and talk. It's good to have a friend. <laughs> All right. I feel sane. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you progress following <laughs> the river to the eastward direction, deep into the uh, this forest along the ridge. Taking it stealthily, or not? Uh, Slower speed at stealth, but careful is largely unseen. Um, I don't know if this is helpful at all, but I think I might have dark vision. Indeed, that does that help does you help. see things. Can yeah. I? So maybe I maybe I should go up to the front and kind of see like if I can see anything past. Actually, sure. Mm -hmm. Just to see, and then we can decide whether we should go stealthily or not. I also oh, I still can. have pass without a trace, so we oh. can move at some some decent speed if we were so inclined. Maybe that. I don't want to take all night getting there. So like pass without a trace. Yeah, let's. I'll spend some pass without a I mean, trace. It's a hundred miles. It's going to take. take all night. But at least we'll get closer. Oh, yes. Anyways. Yes. All right. So, all right. I think moving at a very reasonable speed with pass without a trace is probably the way to go. Okay. So everyone, go ahead and make a stealth check for me and add ten. Add ten to whatever. Whatever you roll. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, but not my stuff. Yeah, you add that too. And so it's all combined. Yeah. Oh, so we're wow. gonna have a redick. Okay, let's yeah. see. <laughs> let's do some quick myth. <laughs> so that's thirty-four. Doing some quick myth over there. So you guys party? <laughs> <laughs> Mona, bringing it to all cells here. All right, so that's thirty-four. Twenty-four. Oh, what 24. I roll? Dirty twenty. That's what it was. Okay, dirty 20, and? 29. 29. Fantastically quiet, and as you watch Ashton kind of uh, focus a bit of their essence outward and all the shadows grow even darker around the spaces where you walk and the ground gets softer as you step forward. And uh, It's been a bit since you felt even this confident in you know, stealthing through natural spaces. It mm. kind of feels nice. Um, but the four of you begin to trek alongside the sound of the nearby river. 
as it kind of begins to fill the air with its own din, the uh, rushing uh, and clattering of it against stone and rock. You hear the occasional uh, loud owl or uh, evening hunting creature kind of <laughs> talking to each other through the branches. Keeping an eye out, you're up front. Go ahead and make a perception check for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. 19! 19. 19, not bad. Peering through the shadow, because of your dark vision, one, you have a very clear idea of the, the trees before you and any sort of possible divots or pitfalls or any creatures that may be lying in wait. Mm -hmm. um, but you do help guide everyone through some of the more uh, helpful to your ankles continued support <laughs> uh, pathways. Uh, so the jungle floor here is rather you know, tangled and uh, filled with various roots and traps. Uh, that can pull you or knock you over. But what really catches your attention is a small little fire, a little source of flame that you immediately notice the flicker of it. Said how far? Uh, about 200, 300 feet off. Okay. Wait. There's a fire. What do you think? Can I make out, once I see it, can I make out how many people or, or folk are around it. Uh, with your passive perception, even just kind of glancing over there, you you don't see any people walking around. You don't see an, an encampment or anything. You just see a very, very small, like the saddest little campfire you've ever seen. I mean, how many people got displaced? We don't know if like everybody got shuffled around the yes, bloody right. planet. Mm -hmm. Everything's mm -hmm. all. Maybe that's just someone mm -hmm. dealing with a guy. Can sit and pating. Well, that, mm, yeah. Pate's great when you get to know him. Yeah. That, well, he wouldn't talk to him. He would just do a flyby. <laughs> I don't think that helps. He needs to talk. No, that's what um, I'm saying. I wouldn't make him talk. I would just make him scout. That, to do a flyby. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. High, high, like high in the trees is what you're talking about. Yeah, this is very high, high altitude. Spy, Spy mission. Okay, because he's a flying dead cat with his guts out. He's a dead rat. I, I know what he is. No, I didn't want to say, but, but he presents wrong with as that rat. No, he he commits. He's, he's he knows he's very he's yeah. that's okay as long as you know it as long as you own it. You're proud of who you are, yeah. right, buddy? Well, yeah, know. yeah, of course I am. You made me all <laughs> magic. Oh, oh boy. Yes, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> oh. All right, here's what you're gonna do. Okay. You see that fire in the distance? Yeah. Right. Do not make yourself seen. I can do that. Just do a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Come right back, come. You got it, let's do it. <laughs> Roll stealth check for him. Does Patty get any of Ashton's pass without a trace? Uh, or it disappears once, once you leave Once you're far Ashton's. enough away, it doesn't well, matter. Well, yeah, yeah. Far enough, yeah, well, but the, the range is when it's cast. It can cool, still carry you for a bit. Yeah. He has a high but, stealth, actually. But I will say because he probably was not on your mind when you cast the spell. Probably not. I'd say probably not. Okay. Oh! Better than any roll I've had all night. 23. 23. Ooh. Coasting through the trees until spinning around. Uh, there looks to be a, a small clearing mm -hmm. where a, a cart of some kind is settled at rest. Um, there are some. An open cart or like a covered wagon or? No, it's like a, a simple cart. Okay. Um, there is what looks to be kind of like a. Not quite like a reindeer, but a similar sort of uh, forest kind of colder climate beast of burden that is affixed to the front that is currently eating something. Um, it looks like there are some supplies there and there is a small campfire where. Um, Something is being kind of put on it to burn and kind of pick up the embers a bit, and there is a, a humanoid figure that is currently kind of warming their hands at the fire. Can I notice any weaponry next to them? Anything that might look like a malicious A little perception check for Pate. 18. 18. Hard to make up too much detail beyond just like the the bright light, especially to be unseen in the flyby. But no like 
visible axes or swords or anything hanging at their side. You can see some tools. Um, with actually the pate's uh, 18 perception, though, uh, there are some nearby branches that are broken off. Um, yeah. Does the, the beast of burden look like Yakul, the red elk from Princess Mononoke? <laughs> wow. uh, his distant cousin. Mm. The parents were related. Very distant mm. cousin. It just seems to be a single person, like a merchant, maybe? Hmm. Just traveling with a single cart. To okay. Could be nice to get a little bit of warmth and we'll see what they're about. Worst case, there's four of us. Exactly. One of them. Yeah, I'm not exactly. worrying. Mm. Why don't you and I mosey up and say hi from a distance so they're not, no one makes any sudden movements, you know, at the last second. You are the more normal least looking out of the foot. Yes, <laughs> no, I'm so intimidating. Part of the charm. Mm. No, we've just gotten used to it. Mm. <laughs> All right, so All right. let's uh, head on over. Mm. Not even going to try to be stealthy at this point, although I'm not going to go crashing through the woods. And once we're, I don't know, 50 feet away. Hello? Excuse me. Good cars, could you come to the table for me, please? <laughs> there he is. Oh, he came in the yeah. Oh, well, oh. Through me. I know. Production Please. value. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello, everyone. Hey, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Hi. Let's freaking do this. Welcome. <laughs> Guys, it's about to go down. It's about to go down. Okay. All right, so. <laughs> yeah, right? As you are kind of in the center of this uh, forest, fire in front of you, uh, you hear a voice introducing themselves or getting your attention from just beyond uh, this small little kind of cracked grove. What do you do? I freak out. Oh my god, what is that? Uh, I turn towards the direction, I'm not very good at this, um, but uh, I close my eyes and I fire off a crossbow into the darkness, hoping I hit something. Oh. oh. What Pate didn't notice <laughs> was one of the tools in the side right there. It was a crossbow hanging Jeez, off the edge. And then sha -ping, goes firing off into the wood. I'd say uh, roll an attack with disadvantage. You bumblefuck. Is that this one? Yes. You got that. And is this towards my voice or Pate's yeah. flap? Toward, and then this towards is, the voice, towards that, the voice. That, that I yeah. heard. And roll it again and take the lowest. Yeah. So disadvantage, you roll twice and take the lowest. It's a one. <laughs> <laughs> That's even better. That's you go in even better. It was a five and a one. Huh? The man turns around, fires a crossbow, and the bull goes. <laughs> like it was misloaded. Uh, so, not unexpected, given my track record. Um, I, I turn around and I run. I start running away. Okay, you don't have quite a chance to get a good look at this figure before they just yell and start running deeper into the forest away from you. Hey, okay, that didn't start well. We're just looking for some fire. We can talk at a distance. Hello? Stay where you are. Okay. Um. I can't I, see you. Maybe, maybe just come a little bit closer. All right, I'll come to your fire. Me and m Don't say it. I, I'm going to come to the fire. <laughs> My friend. Are a little ways back. I promise we're just looking for somewhere to plunk down for the night. I say as I move closer. I, uh, I, I, I was looking for somewhere to plunk down for the night too. Can I go around while this is happening? You're gonna. Can I go around and like see if I can like get on the other side of him? Yeah, make a stealth check for me. Oh man, I assume we can hear all of this right now. <laughs> Yes. Oh yeah, you oh, both right. you both aren't aren't too terribly far 22. off. Twenty two. Twenty uh, two. What's still? your passive perception? What about pass without a trace. I don't have that. You got it from Ashley. Oh, so I do. What, so oh, then add so thirty two. Twelve. Your passive perception. Yes. Your passive perception is twelve. Yeah. Twelve. Yeah. So 
you you managed to to scoot around unseen, just barely, just, just barely. to see if, <laughs> if he, you know, just just to see if he like pulls another stun, I can fucking knock him out or something. Okay, so I'm coming up, hands in the air, blade is sheathed on my back. You see a, a little guy, just a little guy who's barely above three feet tall, with like a shield and a sword on his back, arms up in the air. You got a clear shot of me. I'm really not looking for any trouble. I'm just, I'm lost. Uh, my friends and I are lost, real lost. Me, me too. I, I, I have no idea where I am. I was, uh, oh, you want to know who you see? Mm -hmm. I thought I couldn't see you yet. Because you went off and ran. Oh, yeah. yeah. But what, what you would see, mm -hmm. Mona, as yeah. you sneak around in the shadows, go ahead and describe what, uh, what Mona sees. Notes here. <laughs> you see a, um, a half elf. Ooh. He's built like a, a coat hanger. Long, <laughs> sort of light. Oh, he's six foot four, but appears way smaller. He never stands up straight. Uh, about 200 pounds, so yeah, he's soaking wet. Um, long, uh, delicate fingers. He appears to be a young man, but you're not really sure what his age is. No scars, markings, no tattoos. Brown skin with shades of green and gold, mm. kind of a little glow to him. Uh, totally unkempt, mangy hair. And his eyes, you can see in the dark, are large. They're gold, amber, with like uh, very dilated pupils. Mm. And he's basically got a face that carries the expression of like, what the fuck is going on <laughs> at all times? <laughs> he's, um, he's an innocent. He's like not, he looks innocent. He's not what you, what you want to be in this world. No armor. He's a farmer, I'm a farmer. I got a green cloak, it's made of rough wool, whatever we had around the house. Leather shoes and uh, like a potato sack, basically, mm. with rope pulled together. And I have a crossbow, as you now know. <laughs> and, uh, um, and some other stuff. And should I tell them what weapons I have on me? No, they haven't seen anything. Yeah, we'll go fuck yourself. <laughs> and I think from the other side of him, I'll just yell to Orem, I think I found another dead one. You hear this voice <laughs> from right behind you. Uh, what? Ah! Uh, and then, <laughs> do I fire off another? No, I'm gonna go fucking loco. Okay. Um, I, t no, that's not. What do you wanna do? What do you wanna do? What do you wanna do? I'm gonna shoot, a f um, hold on, let me go to my spells. I'm gonna shoot a Farm. fifth level. Farming spell. <laughs> Um, uh, turn up. So, yeah. Trap. Lightning <laughs> bolt. <laughs> oh, oh, no! no. Oh, yeah. Did you say fifth level? Yeah. I'm going to shoot a fifth level lightning <laughs> oh, bolt. Oh, boy. What? This is war! Towards the, uh, towards the voice? Towards me? Towards the voice, knowing, like, not really sure where it is, right? You got it. Oh, so, so you just turn around to the sound of the voice and ah, release a lightning bolt. Uh, so, Mona, yeah. as you're sitting in the shadow, the figure spins around, and you just see this like bright glow of energy, um, and you hear this crack of thunder and a flash of bright light, and go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw. I will say with advantage, because you don't see the source, no so it's kind of just it hoping is. to catch you. With advantage? Oh, well, Natural don't need it. Dang. Oh, that's going to be 24. All right, so go ahead and roll damage, and you take a half damage. Um... Which one is it? It's the D and the D6s. You go ahead and that would be 10 D6. Oh my Here we go. God. Good grief. What yep. the F? Do you need more D6s? No, I think I'm good. Okay. okay. Seven, eight, uh, seven plus eight is 15, um, plus 10, 25, and then 10, 35. One more after this, 35 oh, yeah. plus Oh my lord of mercy. For fuck's sake. Plus oh, 12, 47. 47 points of damage oh. halved. Oh. So you take uh, 20, 28? Eight? No, 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 no. 20, uh, 20. 23, 24, 23. 23, 23. 23. Oh, right. I was doing that. So 23 right. points of lightning damage to you. you how, just, far, how far am I from him? Uh, you're about, I'd say, 30 feet. But this goes about a hundred feet behind you. Sure. You manage to dodge into the way; it catches you on the side of your hip, and you fall to the ground. This oh, sudden pain. Oh my God! How what? did I do that? What okay, the fuck? fuck? Okay, okay, okay. He's hostile. We <laughs> and I start charging up an eldritch blast. No! Uh, are you dead? Are you a dead person? Uh, maybe. I'm half fucking dead over here. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! What's going on? This is escalating way too fast. We're, we're all lost in the wherever the hell we are. 
Please nobody fire anything off. Misunderstanding, okay? Oh my I god. I put my I... shield on the ground. I put my sword on the ground. I'm defenseless. Anyone who wants to drop me can. And I sit down, crisscross applesauce, in front <laughs> oh, of the fire. Cute. Okay. Can we just sit by the fire, please? I'm a little, I'm, I'm a little unhinged right now, so I let go of my Eldritch Blast, but I want to fire it like right to the left of his head. Oh. Just Roll. as a little bit of a warning She's shot. Gonna, yeah. Roll to attack this to ensure. Shortest episode <laughs> appearance ever. <laughs> We're all a little traumatized. Yeah. 21. 21. The This kind of undead looking scraggly woman who's charging this energy Poof, releases it and she goes whoosh, right past your head by an inch. Oh, thank you. Oh boy. Okay. Yes. Yes, I agree. Truce. Truce. I didn't. I didn't agree on a fucking truce. <laughs> I, I can help you. Okay. Well, come help. So can yeah, I, I crawl over? All right. Like sort of like uh, get over there. You now see this oh, this oh. dwarven woman clutching her side, kind of crawling out of the nearby shadow. So. Uh, oh my God! I'm gonna fucking regret this. I I already do. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Uh, my name is a, a Bordor, Border dog son. I'm not the son of a dog. My my father trained sheep dogs. We're sh we're sheep herders. I'm obviously not the son of a dog. Anyway, let me help you. Um, I cast. Uh, can I do sec cure wounds? Yes, you can. Second level. Um, 2d8 is, which one is, hey guys at home, is this a d8? That's the one. <laughs> okay. Um, so, seven and five is 12 plus four, so 16. 16 points. Do I get 16 back? You do. All right. So you been I'm farming along? I'm freaking sorry. All right, we'll see. Can I like um, use my side of hand to sort of like see if I could surreptitiously like steal something innocuous from him that I will maybe give back later? Something sure. on his body. Go ahead and roll side of hand. Just to teach him a lesson. Who's that shit at? Uh, that is going to be a 19. 19. Sorry, 19. Uh, what's something that she finds on your body without you noticing that she pockets? Um, that's a good question. Let's. Uh, where, um, or maybe I just give him a big ass wedgie. I have a, <laughs> I have um, like I have a sling on my back. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that sling. Yeah. Okay, just kind of pull it out of the way. Yeah. You're welcome. Put that knot in there. Yeah. Macro. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Carefully. Oh my, that was that was uh, not cool of me. I'm very, I'm really sorry. I'm just, I'm very scared. I have no idea where I am or what's going on. I, I was. I was on the mountain, and then I was with with my sheep, and I've never. Hmm. Are you dead? I, it's uh, complicated, but a, a little bit of yes and a little bit of no. You are stunning to look at. Oh my god! Un unbelievable! <laughs> wow! Well, well, you guys no, all, no, I've, I've, I've say that. don't really meet meet many people. I'm, yeah. I'm, um, um, mm -hmm. where, uh, where were you yesterday? I was on the mountain. Which, Which mountain? mountain? Fair. I was on in the Sirius Mountains of the Dwendalian Empire. Oh, <laughs> Dwendalian? No, you yeah. yeah. got the yeah. 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 I can see it in my mind's eye. Uh. Wildem Wildemount. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pride's call. Yep. Yeah, not, uh. but you want to give us your fucking street address? Far, far, <laughs> I wish I could. We are. We don't have many neighbors. It's, it's just sort of us. Us on the mountain. And you're a sheep herder. That's what I've been doing since I was a boy, yes. Yeah. Oh, well, thank God we're saved now. <laughs> I, I um, w was uh, tending to the sheep at night and I felt a, a humming hmm. all around me. Uh, I was, <clears throat> I've been sort of alone. I've been caring for my sick brother. He's. Um, hey, what's wrong with him? He's my brother. He's got uh, he's got a fever. He's had the fever for three weeks. Oh, that's not good. He's burning up. He looks well, like, like me. Yeah. <laughs> I um, I was tending to my brother, and I felt this warm hum around me. And then I looked at him, and there was a, a, a voice came into my head. Not, not, not he didn't speak to me, but I, I heard something, um, a droning of sorts, 
and then my face got hot and I felt a pain in my forehead and then I, I ended up here. Huh. Did it happen to sound like the voice of like a very pretentious man, like? Yeah, so maybe it's- Farts don't stink. Yes. Someone smart, for sure. Someone, someone who s sounded like they knew what they were talking about. Hmm. So you, you're a farmer. You throw around a lot of lightning on the, on the farm? No. No, that's a, that's a new thing. Hmm. That's a new thing. Well, as far as I know, I, this is the, since I got here, these, these things have just been happening. How long have you been here? A couple of hours. Yeah. How did you, what made you discover that you had magic ability? Well, she said there was a dead one. And then a fucking lightning bolt came out of my hand. Huh. <clears throat> but does he, does he seem truthful? Uh, go ahead and <laughs> make an insight check. I'm too far to even think. Twenty-one. About that. Twenty-one. You can roll a uh, persuasion or deception check. Go ahead and roll d twenty and add your skill. But uh, uh, I'll don't... roll. I'll roll. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, don't, you, don't, you don't have to tell you don't have to which one. Tell you. Yep. Yeah. You just pick which one and then go ahead. And, roll. <laughs> and then. Here we go. What does a beer can mean? Natural 20. It's a natural 20. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's the grog it's dice. The grog oh. That's the grog oh God, dice. First, terrible. both of you guys got natural 20s in the way in. That's great. Okay. So yeah, I mean, we're seems to be telling the truth. Okay. Wow. All right, you said you're a far sheep farmer? Yeah. You got any cheese on you? I do. What food do I have on me? Uh, actually, <laughs> you, uh, you would have had whatever food uh, was in the cart that uh, dropped in the space with you, um, which uh, the cart itself somewhat damaged. The um, you have a little bit of meat, some grain, uh, and looks like some hunted squirrels, and not a whole lot. I've got cheese. You got cheese too? Yeah, I've got cheese. Wow. Okay. If you. Have uh, if you would like to join me by the fire, and please accept my apologies. I don't see many people. This is very new for me. Uh, I have meat, I, I have some wool if you're cold. We're all kind of going through it, too. Um, we three were together somewhere else. In, in markets. Yeah, and you, are we saying your name? Mona. Mona. Sorry about the. Uh... That's all right, I guess. We'll see. I was on Taldori. I was about to go give a piece of my mind to my fucking ex fiance when I got zapped out of there. Well, and here I am. That sounds horrible for a, him. A bolt in my side. Named Dog Door. Board Door. Board Door. Dog Son. Dog Son. We're very good sheep herders. <laughs> and what was your name? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Orem. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ashton. Ashton, pleasure is all mine. Laudner. Laudner. And this is Pate. Hey, how's it going? You oh, see this no. like, weird little undead rat thing oh, with a bird he skull? He kind of like this. <laughs> hey, how'd you do that? Oh my god, that is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Yes. That's alive? It, well, well, kind of like me, sort of. Is is really the answer? What a, yes. what, a what a day! Well, please, please, what, what, what? Anything that's mine is yours. Please, just accept my apologies. Don't, I, I want no trouble. Oh. We approach you in the dark. No, no hard. Well. I should, I should going through his cards. No, no, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go into the well, pantry. Let's see what he has. Yes. Bring together some fucking food. I'm gonna. I, I uh, throw out what looks like a giant carpet, but is in fact just a like weird black hole. And then jump <laughs> jump into it, oh, like shit. open up a it's big like a hole. Yeah, yeah Looney Tunes what hole. What are you doing there? Going through the pantry. Hold on, I've got some cheese and. Oh my down goodness! There. We got rid of the people, right? What? I don't think we did. Oh, no. <laughs> what? oh fuck! What what people? What people? Um. That's right. You glance are there down. Dead people in As we're having this conversation, you look down <laughs> oh, and no. see. Uh, what looks to be a, a Oops. handful of bodies um, wearing <laughs> more fucking red, dead people. <laughs> red, red colored robes. Um. Hey, Lana, do you mind Shit. grabbing what we need off of this and uh, 
getting rid of the rest. I start tossing <laughs> them out of the hole. Um, okay, here's the thing. Strength is not my thing. I don't. What do you want me to do with this? Oh, just take the armor or the cloak off, whatever All is right. useful. Here's the thing. Um, our little trio has had a rough oh. few days uh, and were, um, we came directly from a real bad place where people were trying to kill us. And uh, these uh, fellows did not succeed, and we were trying to get out of there in a hurry. So, there. I, this is a terrible story, and I'm making it worse. But I, I promise that these were not good people. Um, uh, sorry, it did it. not occur to me what this would look like from the outside. I've never seen it. But dead it's going to make before. the cheese smell weird if we don't deal with it now. Immediately get rid of it. You've never seen a dead body before. Oh no, no, not a murdered one. That's for sure. Today's your lucky day. There's a really nice <laughs> boot that I'm taking off of them. I don't know if anyone wants any new. I've still got some <laughs> bread and cheese, and I think we've got some bottles. It was like table wine, you know, not the good. So I'm just going to come up with. That's it. fine. That'll do. Maybe, maybe I'll get some more wood, like. To be said, the fire was kind of puny and sad. Yeah. Maybe I'd pick up some, uh, some logs. And yeah. There's a number of like broken branches, not that yeah. far off from like someone Super falling small. from. Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna show you my. Are, um, no, no, you no, said no, I have an animal with. Oh, well, the picture. Uh, there, there is a, a, attached to the cart, um, a uh, kind of donkey thing. Uh, it's it's a, kind of like a reindeer, but oh, a little, little bit carry. larger. <laughs> Wait. It can. It's it's used to pulling a cart. So much. Yeah. Uh, if you want my reindeer um, to help move the dead bodies, <laughs> we two? can. Uh, we'll say we'll say two. For I think it was two. I think it was two. Yeah. You have a reindeer? Yes. <laughs> I, I poke my head out. Behold. You glance over. Yeah, this is uh, Ratchet. Ratchet. That's a good name, actually. Hi, Ratchet. Ratchet. You're slightly cooler. <laughs> I go back in and. <laughs> yeah, um, Ratchet. Whatever they need. <gasps> Can you talk to Ratchet? Does no, Ratchet. I just pretend. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Orm, you hear All right. the faintest bit of a crack mm. of branches nearby. What? Oh, Mr. Dry, uh, forget about the dead bodies. I slowly load my crossbow. Can I look down at my whip? Yeah. Is anything happening? Uh, you feel it slightly buzzing in your grip as you go and touch it. Does your whip talk to you? No, it's just like, I don't know, it just it heats me up a little bit. Black sun's coming along. <laughs> um, don't let's get fire up. Ready? Oh, right. oh, fire up and hold. Oh, no, do. An Eldritch blast. All right. I'm ready. Are there, we've got trees around us too? You have many trees turn? clustered around us. There's just kind of this partial clearing with some of the broken branches and where the cart sits and. Uh, Aren't we waiting or did we say something? It's not like we can't see the fire. I don't know if it's, uh, can I tell if it sounds like steps in the brush or it's too faint? Make a perception check. Yeah, Does the yeah. fire help me get my regular perception back? Uh, within the immediate vicinity, sure, yeah. Natural 20. Hey! Plus nine, so. Indeed. Uh, you see, um, between some of the nearby trees, there is a, a figure walking quietly through, approaching the glow of the light and the sound of conversation that up until recently was filling the space. Some sort of a, a scout is glancing from the shadows and slowly approaching. Aggressively? Carefully. With my foot, I push a dead body back into the hole. <laughs> I, did, I just, oh fuck, man. The cheese is ruined. Should we get in the hole? I wouldn't. Okay. Hey, it worked. Okay, is she coming in? Hello? I see you th uh, there. Hello? I hide behind Laudner. All right, that's <laughs> impressive, if you know. <laughs> Actually, you're one of the few people that probably could. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> Emily, if you wouldn't mind joining us at the table, please. Oh, oh, which side? Which side? Which side? Oh, which side? Which side? Oh, no. Which side? Oh, oh. <laughs> she's coming. She's coming. <laughs> Where? Hey! Hey! Welcome! Hey! 
I forgot my pen. Does anyone have one? I got one. <laughs> 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 Hi. Hi. Hey, oh <laughs> Welcome to the table. Oh my. <sighs> Everyone here is super lost, and we have wine and cheese and meat. Oh, I think I'm not stealthing up at all. <laughs> I am here, dispatched on a mission, and I want to meet people. All right, then. Then, as 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 you kind of step out of the shadow that is naturally cast by the darkness yeah. here, uh, you also pick up quickly. This person is walking with intent as they approach the campsite. Yeah, think like Greenpeace clipboard person. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of intensity outside of a whole <laughs> And yeah. you, yeah, with that intensity, you see, I'm like sort of like a. I am a elf from the shadow realm. So I'm like a goth looking elf oh. with like pointy teeth, pointy ears, like emo girl tattoos that are like runes, but runes instead of song lyrics. Um, and uh, <laughs> like a little raven on my shoulder. But I am dressed in like the formal attire of a mage's apprentice. So I have a little academic beret, academic blazer. Total indoor kid vibes. I've got like, I've got like little silk stockings that are already like torn in several places. Little mage booties that probably are only meant to like climb a uh, like a, a library bookcase ladder. Um, yeah, and uh, and also the most important thing is that you see that I'm probably uh, I am with. I am coming out of a tense conversation with a book. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. Um, do any of you, or all of you, if I am so lucky, have time to participate in a short, brief survey about your experience with the Apogee Solstice? Whoa. The Fucking sucked. Fuck. Okay. I love your enthusiasm. Can One I just. One star. Zero stars. Okay, I will. Well, take it, out of that. It, it seems so soon to already have like a um, bureaucratic surveys being done. Yes. Well, don't underestimate the um, forethinking of the Cobalt Soul. Oh. And I kind of show off a little insignia. Do we know what that is, or would any of us know what that is? Uh, a number of you have oh. probably heard of it. Uh, Did Beauregard Was it introduce Is introduce herself as Cobalt yeah, Soul? Yeah, I'm trying to recall. Leave so. Mm, Maybe I'm not. Certain if if that any of you game. needs um, a, like a little primer on the Cobalt so <laughs> it's like crazy that you guys haven't heard of it because it is the premier academic institution in Alexandria. Um, but basically, we, um, I'm just an apprentice so far, but I think I can still say we, right? Apprentices Anyways. are part of the organization. Like, if you ch ch take ownership in your station. But don't forget to remember your place. Okay. Yeah, I'm right, okay. Wait, who no. that, where'd that come from? That was a sourceless voice. Wait, didn't you use? You have a friend? Didn't you use? Hold on, just one second. I'm just gonna stay with me, though, but I'm gonna leave. Didn't you use? I'm gonna need you to not talk back to me in front of these now, people. Now, why are you calling me by my real fucking name is the good question. Whoa. What? What? Denise? No, I was saying Danios. Oh, whoops. I start rolling up the portal. Are you Mona or Denise I'm now? I'm Denise, now you know. <laughs> Denise okay. is also a very pretty They're name. They're both good. You look like Denise <laughs> and I Mona. I said Denise. Cross out Mona. Who are you talking to? <laughs> um, okay, so when the Cobalt Souls sent me here, I'm not exactly of the standard. Uh, basically, they sent me with a sentient book chaperone. Introduce yourself. <laughs> she holds up this. A uh, tome of kind of black and brown leather with silver runes inscribed along it. It's a beautiful book. And on the front, you can see there's where the folds of leather are, there's this kind of like scrunched face that's pressed into the front of it. Oh. And it kind of, it, there are no eyes, there's just these like small wrinkled slits where the eyes would be, and the mouth kind of slightly opens. And he goes, Hello, I am her um, assigned chaperone for her research. And, um, we're not getting along, if it's not obvious. <clears throat> I think it does. Oh. Yeah, so, I mean, I'll just say it. I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna say it. Can I just say it? I'm gonna say it. Um, Danios is a mage that was trapped in this book during a rivalry, um, and then somehow the Cobalt Soul got their hands on this book, and now he is uh, my 
boss, kind of. Oh, so you're just airing his dirty laundry out there. Yes. Listen, Amazing how quickly she does um, that. Do you know what the fuck we are? You two smart people, where are we? Well, uh, last I knew, we were at the Cobalt Soul, and they gave me this little questionnaire <laughs> to um, ask anyone, and they said, we don't know where you're gonna go. We know you get sick when you teleport, so we're just gonna let you get shunted. And then we just appeared here, and I was really hoping for a city, right? Don't you remember we talked, and I was like, God, here we get a city. The intent was to go ahead and have us transported um, to one of the various major metropolitan cities that were nearby or were in proximity to so mm -hmm. one of the nexuses, um, and instead we were uh, sent somewhere in the middle of nowhere, yeah, which is wondrous, it's isn't it? So it's weird great. because so our strange. job <laughs> is to collect first-hand experiences with the apogee solstice, and there's not exactly a good statistical sample size here. No, no, no this does not look well for your first real outing, does it? I think it's going to affect Polly on your. It, uh, yeah, uh, I know, your and return. I think it's going to really make it hard for me to get finally promoted from an apprentice if I can't okay, get some. Sorry. Where do you and your dad come from? You said that, but but so you left, so you got put here when? Before the solstice or after? Do you hear the voice? Do you hear the crack? Do you see the sky? I hear the voice and see the crack. <laughs> um, you were stepping outside of the library to prepare for the shifting of your uh, being sent, kind of wow. like haphazardly teleported to a location where you could check in on the experiences of the mm -hmm. solstice, um, when you would have likely heard some conversation sourcelessly, but you were also surrounded by a lot of other people um, that were talking, and then just here. There was just a lot of talk, really. So I don't really remember a voice, but I, I knew that I was going to arrive somewhere else, so I'm not really freaking out. Mm. Did your, is your organization knew that everyone was going to get punted across the globe? Well, I don't really know what they knew, because like I said, I'm kind of an apprentice, and I'm not really privy to a lot of the bigger information, but they did know that it was going to be an unprecedented, world-changing, cataclysmic event. Okay, we can attest to that. This is why I don't fucking trust organizations, because they knew what was happening, of any of them, okay. especially you and this your dad. Personal help it's not right my now. dad. I'm not right her father. Okay, uh, you're acting like a father. So what did you know and when did you know it? You knew that people were gonna be punted all over and you didn't say anything? You didn't warn anybody? That's nice. I'm, I'm gonna give it to you really straight. Please. Up until yesterday, I've been cleaning quills and emptying out Mage's chamber pots. Okay, so my access to information, I think just this was such a big event that they just scrounged up every single apprentice and just dispatched us all over Exandria to try and find out information. Mm. And so that shouldn't make you trust my authority less, though. But I think it will help you understand my predicament and my lack of enthusiasm with being thrust out here with this individual. <laughs> You're not getting along with the sassy book, obviously. Sassy book. Can you just? Why, why are you carrying around this, this, the book? You can just. You can just toss the book. Right. right? Okay. He's my spell book. Uh, right. Mm. So all of my access. You don't have them memorized. I don't. Spells. You gotta read them out. Um, mm. I mean, it's kind of like a, a mage thing. Is like the copying. It's the ritual of the. You can't write them on your hand. Really boring. Uh, I, I wouldn't write them on my hand because then they would get washed off Maybe and it's a leaf. the books, uh, just a book, nice tangible material Ponderous. book. Please it's stop just the smell, mm, except for this one. I don't like the way he smells, but I mean, mm, being in a library, the musty tomes, the smell of milk. Is there tea. anyone else <laughs> hiding in the woods right now? Please put now, us out of our fucking misery. Now's the moment. Now's the moment. <laughs> do, do I know what the epigee solstice is? You're a farmer. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. What, uh, guys? So sorry. I, mean, I know I'm way behind here, but uh, what? What? What's it? What solstice? A effigy? Whoa. The, well, the apogee solstice. Apogee. It's, apogee. Oh. Yeah. It's like I think it means furthest from something. Apogee. Yeah. What's going on? Did the the um you know the red moon, Brutus? Yeah. It like. Exploded. It yeah. met its zenith. It's maybe on oh Exandria now. Yeah, it's well, can, can we take a couple steps to see the 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 the, the uh, beam? It's a bit it? of a jaunt, but you can go there if you want. There's a uh, beam. Yes, you can. You can see the moon. Oh, so so you don't know. 
Does a does a I don't, encyclopedia Alexandria over there have fucking eyes or anything? So, oh, you, do you want me to dispatch him? I, send, send him with the um, dead bird. I don't. Yeah. I don't want to talk to a book that weirds me out. So. Okay. I, yeah. Do you all know that shit's gone down? That things have happened. That we have all been teleported to wherever the fuck this is. Right. Because the Apogee Solstice is a complete fucking mess, and people have died, and people are. I don't even. No, just, it's, um. I don't even know where the fuck to begin. You have to. For the quick of it, the three of us it's, were yeah. part of a larger group no, in, I love looking this. into okay. the, the, the very thing you're talking about, uh-huh. and we're kind of at ground zero when it went wrong. It's a big deal. Actually, well, how about this? Because, you know, I, I'm. I, I want you to seize this opportunity that you have. I do too. Maybe if we go through your survey, your questionnaire, okay. it'll all kind of come out because it's so much okay. to get through. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, very no. okay. smart. <clears throat> oh boy. Greetings, people of Alexandria. Hi. Mm. Okay, I, <laughs> I'm pretending, I'm improvising this, but it is, I'm gonna pretend like I it's written down. <laughs> I have been dispatched. From the Cobalt Soul to collect first hand accounts of this unprecedented af- event. Mm. Say, sorry, it's like when you read out loud in class, you get really nervous. <laughs> and how the words look different. Read. Okay. <laughs> My name is. Oh, here it says I'm supposed to introduce myself and say one fact that's interesting about myself and ask you all to do the same. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm Prism. And um, the interesting fact about me would probably be that until I was 10, I could actually do a back walk over unassisted. Are you still that flexible? No, it stopped when I was 10. Oh, yeah, right. But it's still pretty interesting. That's the most interesting thing about you? Oh, uh, I, I mean, I, I... I think I just fell asleep. Did you? Because you seem very awake. I'm asleep, I'm half asleep. Wow, I... Keep going with your thing, please. Well, I well at this point you would all then um, also share with me your names, which I will write down with my trusty quill, and you know feel free to include something interesting about yourself. May try and outdo me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's fun. Okay. Uh, I'm Orum of the Arashari in Taldore, and um, I can still do a backwalk. What? And no, I do it. really. I didn't think anyone could after 10. Can you do it? I'm sorry. I'm I, so I just sorry. did it right in front of me. You watched watch it. it. That's so fucked up. Can you do it again? Just one more time. I'm okay. Holy fuck. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. I, mean, I just did a lot of gymnastics growing up. It's Are you a gymnast crazy. now? Sort of. And um, I pull the blade out lightning quick and sort of like pirouette and Sling a shot of, of plant and vine to a, a tree 15 feet away and then yank myself to it. You just did that all with so little enthusiasm. Is this foreplay? What? No, <laughs> no, ha! Huh. No, I get my rocks off with books. Well, I mean, like reading this them. Book, you dad. No, no, no. <sighs> okay, you! I've seen some of those books. Chutney has some. <laughs> oh boy. Ah. Uh. uh Ashton Graymore, um, something interesting about me. Uh, it doesn't have to be backwalking related. That's not really into backwalking. That's a, uh, I have a um, dimensional nexus of uh, infinite personal personalities and a hole in my head. I don't know. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Why the fuck not? It's time I yeah. Holy. Why not? That's wow. great. There's a big glass. Uh, window in my head that just goes off into a weird little sparkly bit of something. It is disconcerting. That is beautiful. You all are so much more interesting than mages. <laughs> can, 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 can you go in there? Uh, I mean, we I, I wouldn't. Have, if we, we had a friend who can do that. It got very complicated, I wouldn't recommend. Wow, that's something else. Yeah. Mm. Okay. What about you? There's so many layers to this conversation. I've given up. Well, my name's Denise, as you so rudely revealed. What? The S is a money sign. 
<laughs> That's <laughs> that awesome. Here. That's awesome. I gotta fix this. And uh, um, retroactively, I am you. gonna retcon it that the S in Prism is too. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she likes to copy. Oh, wow. Wow, we got an original live one here. Here's a fun fact about I, me. I am a scribe, so copying is kind of my thing. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Listen, my nails are as sharp as fucking tacks. They can cut glass. Wow. That's and you see Denise's nails, they're like stiletto shaped, kind of like these, but like so sharp. Mm. You don't really know if they can cut glass, but they can definitely pierce skin a little bit. They can probably cut glass. Probably cut glass. I like fresh cut glass. <laughs> <laughs> and you? I'm I'm just um, <clears throat> I'm Bordor dog Bordor. son, and I'm just afraid, and I need to get back You're home. You're just afraid. I need to I need to get back home to my brother who's sick. He's sick and he's ill, and I have to take care of him. And I don't know where we are. I don't know who you are. But I need to leave. And Bordor has newfound abilities. Right. I, I don't know. If, I, I mean, yeah. Got a lightning bolt. That's interesting. I yeah, lift up. Is there like a little well, not, mark? Not if you don't know how to do it. Wait. Sorry. Magic is just happening to you. Well, I guess. Does magic happen to you too? No. I studied really fucking hard to get it. Oh. <laughs> it's like ten years of apprenticeship. Sure. Mm, that's. She doesn't even remember. She doesn't have memorized or nothing. Right. It's the ritual of the book. It's just a good book. Sometimes it. You know, the magic is in the book. I, uh, well, I don't have a book, but maybe you could teach me. I, I, oh, huh, sure, okay. <laughs> I, I really don't know what's going on. Yeah, sure, mm. I, uh, I'll be, I'll be very, very transparent, uh, like your head. Mm. That um, mm. I, my magic <laughs> has not been Shit. technically field tested. So I've oh, never nice. cast a spell. Two completely useless fucking magic people. Tough mm. crowd. Yes. A tough crowd. Okay, and you. <laughs> the tension, there's a lot of it. Um, I'm Laudna. Um, I also do magic, but I was born with it. I'm maybe naturally, okay. give me a baby, born, born maybe. with it. Maybe. maybe it was a dead woman in my head. <laughs> it was, yes. Um, Mm. Wow. That woman's not in my head anymore. I don't think. Whoa. She just got natural abilities. <laughs> That's great. That's great. I just, it's so great that some people get natural so, abilities. Um, she has so, a dead rat that flies. I, oh, oh my god, he's going to participate in the survey too. This, uh, Pate. This is Pate. Oh my this goodness, hello. <gasps> I haven't seen one of these since the Shadow Realm. <gasps> you, so you know? Purchase on your hand. Absolute pleasure. I'll feed him some corn nuts. Oh, <laughs> I'll donate. This is interesting. <laughs> Just eat it. Don't be rude. Eat it. They're, they're, all, they're all over the Shadow Realm, and they love corn nuts. <laughs> he's a little um. So he, he's a little wonky. He's um. He was a he was a craft. So yeah, had a had a nice craft day, and then and then he came alive one day. And after. what's something interesting about you? Oh me, oh my part of this too. Okay. <clears throat> you got this. Wow. I'm Pate. Mm. And Pate. Um, de, what's your last name? Pate de Rolo. <laughs> and I'm really horny. Oh. Yes. Oh. That's a lot. Do you have a, do you have a, do you have a means of release? Or dead ones? That's just tragic. Death is the greatest release. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> well, thank you all very much for your information. Oh wait, I haven't even asked the questions yet. Right back to the scroll. <clears throat> okay, no, question number one. On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your experience? With the Apogee Solstice. Goose egg. Zero. Yep. Zero. It's one to ten, actually. I mean, I mean, like, um, maybe like a three. I don't want to be so, well, we, it I was. Like, I feel like you're compartmentalizing a little hard right now. I have to, I or I will break, and I will not ever be the same. You pick up some more rustling in the bushes. <laughs> Your first instinct is, oh, more people have found the source of light, but then as you, everyone else is talking around you, you focus in as their voices begin to drown out. And it's larger and more consistent. Mm -hmm. Like someone pushing a heavy log 
through the floor of a forest. Okay, this could be more people, and I have been deputized to seek out a statistically you just shut the fuck up and you just, just stand right for, there? You stand right there. Pause the, the survey for one second. I was just gonna go walk shh, over. Shh. It's okay. Holding a bottle of wine, hoping for the best, listening really hard. Grab my whip. Kill them, I need them. Shh. It's almost like someone's dragging dozens of ropes across the underbrush. It's hard to really describe in your head what you can equate it to, but it's something, if not non-human, at the very least, it's, it's larger, it's slower and consistent. Okay, I'm not going to call out this time. Um, everybody find a spot. Is there like a tree branch up above me? Uh, yeah, there's a number of branches above. There's some nearby trees. You can see like the the landscape as it kind of rises up to like almost like some nearby cliff edges in the direction. I'm gonna take my whip and try to hoist myself up to one of the branches, get a better view, but also hide. Great, make an athletics check for me. Orum drops the wine, does a back walk over, and climbs up the same tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's 14. 14, okay. You can Who's use the whip and pull yourself up. You watch as uh, the dwarven woman, Denise, you just met, just vanishes up into the tree above, and then you, as an acrobatics check. You acrobatics, do? please. Yeah. 18. She darts up and also vanishes into the upper tree. Now it's just the four of you standing here. I'll also here. go ahead <laughs> and cast spider climb on myself. <laughs> Form of dread. <laughs> As I back walk over, but not really, I just kind of go into a crab walk as my head bends backwards. <laughs> so ex- explain for those who are present yes. what, you're, what, what you see, what you see, see it. Lana does. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> uh, as her form of dread takes over her, you see her eyes just kind of start to widen as they go black and like black ink starts to pour out of it. As like the tr- almost the surrounding trees start to sprout out of her neck, like her veins just start to pop and bulge and extend and break into branches as her back cracks in an unnatural way, as her shoulders dislocate, go fully behind her, she plops back and then just skitters up the tree. Oh my nah. god. So, <laughs> And it's just the three of you now. Oh, well, unfortunately, I've never seen something so harrowing in my life. <laughs> and I forget where I am, and I scream bloody murder. No! Um, that's real. That's, real. Uh, um, that's the scariest shit I've ever seen in my life. I also vomit all over myself. <laughs> Vordor just screams out loud, up chucks a little bit. <laughs> as large plant like tendrils begin to reach out and clamber with intense speed, like the floor of the forest itself is coming alive and rushing towards you. That's where we're going to go to break. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, we've been traveling with the Ring Girl for months. He's brand new. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> That shit's that's that's scary. Awful. I don't want to get anywhere near this, that. This is, I'm a, sure it is. this is amazing. This is basically my high school lunch table at this point. This is just way too real. God. Love it. We'll take a break here in a minute. First off, uh, welcome to the table, uh, Amy Carrero once again. Uh, Emily Axford and Utkarsh Embarkar, thank you so much for coming and joining us for this bit of the adventure. Yes, let's go. Happy to have you for this chaos. Um, we'll be back here in just a few minutes. We'll see you shortly. This episode is brought to you by Nintendo and their new game, The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, which is available now. In this sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, you'll decide your own path through the sprawling landscapes of Hyrule and the mysterious islands floating in the vast skies above. Can you harness the power of Link's new abilities to fight back against the malevolent forces that threaten the kingdom? I know you can, as I've done so by jumping off of massive islands into series of glowing rings and doing little quests for people I just met and uh, forgetting about the dangers of the kingdom and instead uh, finding a really cute horse, making good food, and occasionally reminding myself that there's terrible existential threats to the landscape around me. So enjoy that experience with me by checking out The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom.
Welcome to the Fairlands, a vibrant and diverse coastal valley found within the northern country of Hale. The year here is 1907, a time that feels very similar to your world at the turn of the century. People here are still reeling from the trauma of the last great war, embracing spiritualism and raucous debauchery in the wake of tragedy. Within the metropolis of New Fair, citizens celebrate the sudden influx of technology and wealth by embracing all manner of vice and revelry. But beneath the city lies the remnants of an ancient alchemical civilization that fell to the misuse of horrifying magic. This same mysterious power still plagues the Fairlands today. Sinister creatures roam dense forests. Enigmatic lighthouses illuminate dark waters. And diabolical powers harness arcane artifacts. For as long as this corrupted magical bleed has run rampant through the Fairlands, a secret esoteric order known as Candela Obscura has used their centuries of knowledge to fight back. Each circle of investigators is composed of brave individuals recruited by Candela Obscura to work together. From criminals to professors, mediums to magicians, this team is called to protect the world from the horrors of the unknown. They are guided through the darkness by an enlightened veteran known as a light keeper. Today, I will be yours, so stay close. Hey Critters, Laura Bailey here to guide you through what's new in the Critical Role Shop. Could anything be more perfect? It's the little things in life. Look at this. Isn't it fashion? So much fashion happening here. I mean, the traveler always says impulse purchases are a good decision. Roll an investigation if you want. It's basically perfect. I mean, the traveler always says impulse purchases are a good decision. This is, this is a lot of stuff, you guys. We have, like, so many cool things right now. And hey, if you want, you could head over to the Critical Role shop right now. Hi, we're the narrators of Midst. What's Midst? It's very simple. It's a weird, surrealist, fourth-wall-breaking, reality-bending, science-fantasy space western about a small, doomed planet floating in a cosmic ocean of spooky darkness. Upon whose alien landscape an ensemble cast of characters, including a crotchety outlaw, a freakishly virtuous cultist, and a weird, diabolical bastard, make awful decisions and fight like hell to survive when the moon falls out of the sky and a large number of terrible things happen in rapid succession. It's exciting. It's funny. It's scary. It's got neat sound, weird music, amazing visuals, and every episode comes with bonus content you can read and examine. Midst is performed solely by yours truly as the three of us narrate all the action, play all of the characters, and bend a lot of the rules about how telling stories is normally supposed to work. Midst is pretty fun, very strange, and it feels like VR for your brain. We believe you'll enjoy it, or maybe you won't, but there's really only one way to find out. You're going to have to listen to Midst.
everyone, it's me, Jester. So the Traveler and I were going to tell you guys all about subscribing to Twitch, but um, <laughs> it sort of seems like he's not really here right now, which is so stupid. Traveler! Traveler! Artie! <laughs> you know what? It's fine. I can do it by myself. With myself. <laughs> I invoke duplicity. Hello, Jester. Hi, Jester. Okay, so what we're going to do today is tell the people at home all about the good stuff they get when subscribing to Twitch. Oh, I don't know what Twitch is, but that sounds good. Let's go. <gasps> no, that's perfect, because this works for you too then. Okay, so there's a professionally moderated live chat. Mm. And if you subscribe, you can post the links in the chat. <gasps> like a link to a cool hamster video? Exactly like that. <laughs> so what we do here is tell like really cool stories, right? And sometimes like crazy shit happens when we're telling those stories. And people that subscribe get special emotes so you can express how you feel. What if you live on the side of Alexandria where it's really late mm -hmm. and you're like, I'm just gonna close my eyes for a few seconds and then it's two hours and the music is playing and you're like, oh no, I missed the whole show. Oh, no, that's a great question. Well, if you subscribe to Twitch, then you can just watch all of our VODs as soon as the live broadcast ends. So cool, right? So cool. I know. Another really cool thing is you can gift subscriptions to people. Like, I could buy a subscription for you, Duplicate Jester, and for other... What are you doing? Look what I found! Oh my gosh. Look, I could draw a dick. Oh, well, technically, uh, technically that might break Twitch's terms of service, so... But there's no rule against, like, drawing chubby little snakes. <laughs> yeah, or, or a really long balloon sore. <laughs> yeah, or like... A really thick rope with like two honky nuts at the end of it. A cucumber with, with two tomatoes. Yeah. A banana, you know, sitting next to an onion and like another mushroom with like a little cat. A mini dog with just two feet. Yeah. Artie, where are you? Should we go look for him? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, don't forget to subscribe to Critical Role. Okay, let's go. Okay. Mm. Welcome back. So, as this scattered troop of strange, wandering, kind of out of place near doers, near do wells, uh, heroes, whatever else you might want to call yourselves, have weirdos. gathered. Weirdos, that's the proper term. The Breakfast Club. Indeed. <laughs> uh, gathered around a, a mid forest fire, uh, meeting some strange companions, and then hearing the crawling threat of some sort of jungle 
or forest-based dangerous entity approach. Three of you have leapt into the nearby trees, while the other three of you have a brief moment to give their reaction as well. What would you like to do before something threatens approach? Um, oh. oh, I'm going to uh, flank over to one side uh, just uh, and uh, take cover behind the cart and keep an eye on what's coming. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast Greater Invisibility on myself, okay. get behind a tree, uh, bonus action, manifest the mind of my wizard's book, and be like, then Yeos, I need you to go into the fray. I need you to be brave. Are you serious? Yes. Fine. This is what you are made to do. I understand. Okay. I just wish to do it in my own regard. Yes. Well, you know, you have to. We don't. We are kind of. We have to work together here. True. And true. I'm also gonna send my raven with him. Okay. Mother, join him. What? Mother. Yeah. Mother. <laughs> she brought her mom and her dad. How cute. Oh my god. Stop my dad. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Alrighty. And uh, Bordor, what, what, what are you going to do? I've this? screamed, I've vomited, and I'm. Um... Yeah, you know what? I'll call it your action. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I was going to say. Everyone, <laughs> what more can I Two give? Yeah. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, it's oh, been shit. months. Oh, give me that no. map and those minis. Let's see that map. Okay. Okay. Ooh. I can handle oh, that. Has... I could do a twine song. Wow! Oh, that's beautiful! Oh, oh, shit. Anything can happen in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Wow, that's gorgeous. Onto this point, Oops. we have over here by, actually you can turn invisible. These are the, I'm using some proxies for the minis for the guests. We'll have those shortly. And you're back behind the cart. So, mm. here we go, Prism. Okay. This represents your invisible self here behind the car. Ooh, cute. Um, I would, I would this represents Bordor, <laughs> who <laughs> vomited and screamed. Oh. It's also your your raven, by the way, out in this space here, if you'd like. Mother, mother, <laughs> mother, Mama. be brave. <laughs> mother, may you sleep with danger? Denise, you are up in this tree <laughs> here. Yes. Holding tight for Whoa, the time being. Yeah. How'd you do that? Buddy, that's a that's a Brennan Lee Mulligan trick, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, he yeah. taught you that? He did. I can't believe you didn't know that before. No, I did not. It's a very thankful person. So cool. Uh, this one. Oh. Do the, the, read the, read the, read the, 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 you have to read the. the oh, I do. Up. Where did it go? Oh, oh my god, the thing is missing. Right, no! There you go. Wait. Where is it? Yeah, I don't know. It's on the floor. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sam Regal. Which tree are you up in? Uh, uh, I'll say I'm on. Oh my this gosh, one. this map brought to you by sure. WizKids Combat Cam. The Tomb Takers are out for blood, literally. This dark and mysterious group is now available for pre-order. Find them and many more for uh, more Critical Role miniatures at whizkids.io slash crminis at your local game store. Yep, perfect. You're awesome. I thought that's a the criminal, there. like the mushroom. <laughs> okay. Minis. You did, you did good. That I owe the criminy yeah. mushrooms. <clears throat> for the art tome. I think I think in, instead of instead of the flask, I think you now need the flat, the fan and just need to. Every, every week. Or I'll have this represent the tome that's in the fray oh, so here. The tome is in the fray. <laughs> the tome yeah, and the raven. Yeah. I'll, I'll use that for the tome for the time being as a proxy. I would help. As you watch crawling through the brush, it's almost like the very floor of the forest begins to curl upward and reach out and grab and emerge, like the underbrush is fighting to dispel or destroy these strange Ooh. invaders. Oh, I don't like Ew! Yuckies! Oh! As another one is pulled up no. from the backside oh, on no. this end Are they like here. vine yes. creatures? <laughs> Made of vines? Veiny, veiny vines? So, yeah. may I be careful? Initiatives, uh, 25 to 20. 23. 20, 21. All right. Oh. Oh. Okay. 20 to 15. 19. 16. All right. Uh, 15 to 10. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. 10 to 5. Oh, my <laughs> eight. <laughs> All right. Seven. All righty. Mother, mother, Hello. mother, be 
be brief. All right, so Orem, you're up first. Up in the tree below, you watch as these two uh, sections of the forest floor kind of come alive, begin to reach out, begin to barrel for like these hulking behemoths of tangled, rotted, uh, sentient vegetation. Okay, uh, I think to begin, um, these things look like they can go anywhere they want here. So I'm going to spring from the top of that tree and land here if I'm able. All right. <clears throat> With my boots of striding and springing. Move over to there. And I'm going to stay put and slash twice and use my blade seedling to cut the air. Yeah. You can do and that send indeed. It 15 feet away to strike. Whoa. Okay. Uh, first one is a 19 to hit. That hits. Uh, okay. Keeping it simple to start. Um, I have to get my dice together. That is 11, and then second slash is lower. It's a 15. 15 just hits. Just hits. Oh, true. And that is 10 points. 10 points of damage. And I'm just going to hold there and see what we do. All right, as you land. It's yeah. just. Two strikes in the air, and you watch as these arced, blade-like gusts of wind seem to fire out of his sword, and they just cut into the back of this creature. You see roots and bits of plant matter and moss go flying as... It kind of seems to turn around a bit and notice your presence. Finish your turn? Sure. All right, Lana, you're up with Denise on deck. All right, I see Orem going for the one up front, and I'm just gonna look at the other one and go kill it with fire and hit a fireball down at this back one. At this back one? Yep. Oh man, all righty. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Massive detonation. <laughs> emerges and engulfs the surrounding area in a sphere of burning fire Ouch. as a small localized explosion splinters some of the nearby plant life and like burns into a cinder the floor of the forest and its vicinity. Go ahead and roll damage. The DC on this, oh, uh, no, nah, that's going to be a, a three. Fail. <laughs> uh, so 8d6. 8d6. Ooh, Ooh 10, 16, uh, 19. Uh, 19, 29, 32. Damage. Fire damage. All righty. It burns everything around as the flames subside. The creature there looks singed, but strangely a little more resistant to fire than you'd expect yeah. a plant based oh, creature to be. Oh, creature wants yeah. um, <laughs> a dread, so he does have to make a wisdom saving throw. Does. I didn't ask how close my friends are, I said I cast Fireball. <laughs> That's a 12. Fail. So he is afraid of me and has to go the opposite direction. Alrighty. He is afeard. Or can I get closer to you at least? Or no. Can I take a moment to noticing that it didn't seem to work as well? To shout out to everyone and be like, ah, fire, fire may have failed. Don't kill it <laughs> with fire. Okay. Says the terrifying goth tree lady. Oh. Uh, the creature. <laughs> sees you and begins to recoil in terror from your strange, also plant-like, nightmarish uh, visage. Um, all right, that finishes your go. You want to stay put or move? I'm going to hang out in the tree. You got it, sounds good. Denise, you're up with Ashton on deck. Okay, here we go. We're going to slow things down. Um, uh, Denise is going to leap off of this tree, and she's going to rage and use her fucking sickle to cut <laughs> twice. This guy here? Yep, that guy Leaps right there. Leaps down. Leaps onto him, I think. Uh, onto him. Uh, yeah, oh. I'd love to do that. Um, and uh, strikes him twice, trying to do like a slicing motion where its head would be. And you got so, it. I, so go ahead and make two attacks. Two attacks, okay. Just standard or reckless? Uh, well, I don't think I need reckless if I want to do sneak because he didn't see me coming. He didn't see you coming. You're up in the tree, so yeah. Oh, and I don't want to be sure, okay. so The first attack would have advantage because he didn't see you. The first attack would have advantage. Okay, yeah. so oh, do I do I add anything to this? Sorry, guys. Yeah, you add your attack modifier next to your weapon. Should have like a plus. Yeah, plus uh, whatever weapon. Oh, that's have. great. So that's going to be a twenty-four. That definitely hits. So great. Go ahead and roll damage on Should your like great this. sickle. Okay, it's rolling. It's gonna. The app is doing it, or I can do it. The app is lagging. The app is, yeah, the app is the lagging. App is Here we go. So we're gonna. What is that? Oh well, that's a one. So nine, Woo nine. Oh, that's, that's weird. And it's also a nine, nine on here too. Popped up. Weird. Oh. That's fucking weird as shit. Okay. So nine damage to it plus two d six because of sneak attack. Plus two d six because of sneak attack. Here we go. And that's gonna be a five. 
Alrighty, so a total of 14 damage on the first strike as you land, like sickle down, in the front of where you think its head might be, pull it free. Yep. It kind of shifts underneath you like it's trying to shake you off like a massive dog. Love that. Gonna make your next attack. Okay, so that's gonna be. Uh, sorry, guys. Ah, You're this is great. annoying. Um, okay, great. that's going to be a 23. That hits again. Go ahead and roll damage. Here. Yay! Okay, here we go. Oh, damage. That's going to be a 10. 10 points of damage on that strike. Great. So after drawing the blade a second time, you yeah. do a giant arc slice, this time sending a big chunk of plant matter flying off in the nearby shadow. Yes, and then as I do that, can I also do the thing where I kind of maybe knock it five feet back? Uh, you can knock it five feet away from you, but you're on top of it, which means yeah. you can't really push it down. If you want to step off the back, you can do that if you yeah, want. Yeah, what if I, oh yeah, that's a good idea. So what if I, as I step off, I like sort of kick it with the back of my foot. You can totally do that. And see what that does. So as you land behind, you push I mean, it five feet forward, right yeah. up into Bordor. Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I guess it's payback time. Oh. <laughs> that's fair. I mean, yeah, fair. That's fair. So <laughs> land, double says, kick off, land behind. <laughs> Your whip on your side, your uh, great sickle in your hand. I believe that's the end of your turn. That's my turn. Alrighty. It's dead that. silent, and you just hear the trickle of urine flow down. <laughs> <the trickle. laughs> Ashton, you're up. All right. Uh, so melodic. <laughs> I got to see a bit of that, and I'm very excited at this shit. I'm going to rage. Yay! Alrighty. Yay! Ooh, now we're having fun. Uh, okay. I'm a, oh man, can I do this? Oh yeah, I can do this, it'd be great. Um, I'm going to, uh, my weird little window in my head starts starts sparking and then just kind of becomes see-through and invisible. Like you can just see right through my head and one of my eyes just sort of becomes like a window straight through my head and my, and I, my hammer starts to get a little phasey and I, Run around! I'm going to take a 25 foot run straight at that thing. This here or this one? Um, uh, that one. I'm going to I'm going to uh, like turn around and, and take 25 feet directly at it. You got it. Um, full speed, hammer back, and I'm going to take a swing. And uh, uh, let's uh, yeah, let's do reckless because I really you got want it. this to hit. Uh, all right. And yeah, it hits. Uh, 17, 27 to hit. That definitely hits. Uh, got to do a quick thing because I don't quite remember how this works. Um, I get that. All right, so damage is going to be uh, 2d6 plus an extra d6 because I uh, am using my, the belt of momentum. Indeed. Um, so um, it has to do a, uh, also, it'll need a DC 17 strength saving throw. Which it fails. All right. Uh, nine plus eight. That's uh, s- uh, nine plus eight is uh, s- uh, uh, my brain. Seventeen mm-hmm. points of damage. Already. And it moves fifteen feet away from me in that direction. Oh <laughs> shit! Fifteen oh. feet. Yep. Oh, Slams yeah. into the side of the rock pil- pillar that you leaped on, Orm, and you you feel the ground beneath you kind of shake a little bit as some of the rock gets knocked loose and kind of tumbles to the ground nearby. The creature like hits back. And you watch as it almost like reforms its body as it falls back. The elements of its kind of uh, mimicry of a human torso and limbs kind of shift to be forward once more. Um, where is it staring at right now? You have no idea. It doesn't really have okay. eyes. It just has like like um, plant tendrils for a face, and they're all kind of writhing and curling. Uh, yeah, I don't quite know how much I've run so far, but I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a few more steps back. Okay. And I'm. And I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to use a chaos burst to use my wormhole strike. This will be fun. Okay. I'm gonna uh, let's see how this goes. Character. Uh, that's 21 to hit. 21 hits. Um, so I open up. I just yell, "Hey, made you look!" And I swing my hammer down, and a portal behind its head opens oh, up, shit. and it comes down on its head through through a through a little wormhole. You watch as he strikes down into like a hole that appears in the middle of the air, and as his arms go into it, the hammer just <laughs> appears in the back of the creature and slams so. it from behind. Yeah. <laughs> We're going. It's like, hey, yeah. I am taking notes yeah. of all of this. Uh, that's uh, uh, that's uh, twelve plus. Eight. So I'm, yeah, uh, 20 points of damage on top of that. Woof! 
Nice. You gotta be dead. A heavy crack in the back. Like, he watches the center of where a head might be kind of splinters open, and the tendrils kind of writhe and scream, trying to reach any sort of form of, of matter it can around before it reforms back into its torso. Uh, it looks like it's taken some hits. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Does that finish your turn? That's everything I got. All righty. Nice. Thank you. Oh, is that it? The uh, the bush that you backed into, suddenly you smell this very sweet smell. Like you've had this kind of odd scent to the air that has like a like a rotting fruit kind of sweetness to it, but you feel some things coming in to move and pull the back of your leg as you turn around. The bush shifts. God. And fucking. instead of really being much of a bush. Oh. It's a it rises up with these other vines and these beautiful flowers that kind of blossom oh, no. with a number of bodies oh, that ew. seem to. Wow, it's wow. Jumanji! Happy Breathe out, breathe in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, <Sable. laughs> It's right fucking behind me, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. At which point, it's going to go ahead and have three of its tendrils oh. whip at you from behind for. That is 24 to hit. That hits. Uh, 17 to hit. That's my AC. That hits. And then uh, 12 to hit. Nope. So uh, two of them strike you. Mm -hmm. You take. There we go. Every bush is suspect. Yeah. You take 13 points of bludgeoning damage, right. reduced to seven, six. Uh, or six, six because you're uh, raging, as well as. Ooh! Don't make that noise. Sorry, I was actually 14 points of poison damage. Fuck off. Okay. It sucks. Uh, From one 20, strike. 20 points of damage. From one strike? One. Yep. Oh, good. The other one that hits you does five points of bludgeoning damage reduced to two. Uh, yep. And nine points of poison damage. 11 points of damage. There you go. All right, that's going to finish its Ow. go there. Actually, it's going to go ahead and shift. Not how how not hurt are you? Range, it's not okay, it's not gonna leave my and moving towards the reindeer, who's like oh, <laughs> trying to pull away from the cart. The cart's starting to like move. It's it's gonna bolt. Um, that finishes oh, no. its go. Now this creature here is frightened. Can't move closer to you, so it's going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You gotta be fucking kidding 30. me! Don't you, don't you attack that elf? <gasps> you had to turn into a spider. I'm sorry. I thought it was gonna go back. I will climb over your screen. You're going to make this personal. Not Never like kill the dog. Hey, just so no. you know, I turned into a horrific creature. <laughs> so, as soon as you finish screaming and vomiting on yourself, you also hear the writhing of plant matter behind you and look over your shoulder just as it kind of like shifts away from the terrifying entity in the tree and then goes to do two slam attacks onto you as it moves past. Uh, that's going to be a natural one. Uh, it swings wide and you just kind of woof out of the way. You fall to the ground and just misses you entirely as you're trying to scramble back away from it. The second strike, that, however, will be a 24 to hit. Silvery barbs. Oh, yeah, that hits. Because I feel bad for making him puke on himself. <laughs> what is that? So what as is... I see him slip in his own vomit. <laughs> oh, try and distract him. Uh, that is an 18 to hit. What's your armor class? 14. That does oh. still hit, but good try. Good try. All right, so you 14. take. No, no. Oh, no. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> hanging out with a bunch of sheep before. That's uh, gonna be ten points of bludgeoning damage as you get, woof, like uppercut by what feels like a battering ram. Owie! You get knocked about three feet in the air, kind of land back on your hip, and then just barely catch yourself back on your feet. But that's gonna bruise in the morning. Yeah. Um, I can, however, uh, give someone as part of my silvery barbs advantage on their next roll, and I will give it to Bordor. You got that's it. Awesome. Thank you. This one here is going to, after it was slammed by uh, Ashton, is going to turn around towards Jordan. You're the nearest thing kind of facing it that Sorry. is a threat after you've been kind of taken <laughs> over by the other plant creature on that side. It's going to take two slam attacks. Uh, let's see. Yep, it's going to go ahead and strike you twice. Yeah. First one is going to be 10. No. Zip. Yep. <laughs> Second one is going to be a natural 20. Oh! Maybe. Silvery barbs. <laughs> Sorry about that. Slippery barbs. And it's gone. 
20 points of bludgeoning Ooh. damage oh. as it takes that. <laughs> the first one goes wide, you deflect it off your shield, Ooh. you go for what you expect to be like a backhand, mm -hmm. and the other one just hits the shield so hard that it like knocks you flat on the ground and pushes you into the mound of rock. You hear the whole top of this like upper platform kind of <laughs> crack inward around you as you eventually shove it off. Question, I'm fine if you skip it, but uh, yeah. if you say no, but uh, on the first it was a miss, I've never used this and I keep meaning to, can I repost? Yes, you may. A melee attack that missed. Yeah. So, when the uh, uh, minor retcon, when the first one slams, I hit the shield up and then stab out with blade. Totally. Catch it before it clocks me in the face. Uh, nice one. That is, that'll hit. That's 24. That definitely hits. Uh, we'll call that a seven of damage, and I'm going to do a superiority die and goad the a hole and just keep him on me. Okay. So he has to make a wisdom save. So uh, save is a seven. That's a failure. Failure. So any attacks it makes against creatures that aren't you, it has disadvantage. So total. So I add another seven, so that that slash a total of fourteen. Mm. Then okay. I get rocked in the face by its uh, attack. So you get one stab in right before. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> Slammed down and crushed into the side of this platform. <clears throat> All right, that finishes <clears throat> its go. Um, now use your reaction on the repost. Yeah. It's gonna go ahead and shift away from you. Okay. And move over to Denise. Yeah. I have all the boxes checked from the mega battle in the last game we were in. Yeah, uh -oh. you, you know, haven't had a short rest stuff. yet. Oh, cool. That's <laughs> Yep. All right, finishing their go. Now it's Prism's go okay. with Bordor on deck. Okay, um, so I see all these uh, plant creatures and I smile big and look at everyone and say, how's this for a field test for my magic? <laughs> None of us can see you. Uh, right, right, you're invisible. <laughs> oh God, you're still here! Oh, um, that felt so good. And then, what I want to do is, uh, I want to tell bonus action, send a Neos in between all three of these guys, mm -hmm. and then, I'm gonna cast a spell through him okay. from his place, but since mm -hmm. I'm invisible, would I have advantage on attacks? If it's an attack roll, then yes, you would. So I'm gonna steal wind strike these three guys. Ooh, Ooh. yes, you would. So I'm gonna you like, attack through your book and not lose your invisibility? Denise! It's greater invisibility. Oh, it's greater oh. invisibility. That's sick. Denise! <laughs> Let, let's, let's do the sword one. Uh, and then I'm gonna take three <laughs> attacks with advantage on each of them. Uh, that's a crit. That's Ooh. two crit. Oh, oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, and then a. Uh, sorry, I don't know what my thing is yet. And then a. Uh, that was a 17 becomes a uh, 26. To that hit. hits as well. And then a natural 20 again. Oh. <laughs> this is insane. Oh. I'm tired. I was literally sitting back there being like, these <laughs> fuckers all rolling all these nat 20s yeah. coming out. I'm going to be the dunce guest. Nice. I'm not the dunce uh -uh. guest. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to roll my damage against each of them. All right. Here's one of the crits. Dang. Does zero become 10? Yes, yes. it does. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. The zero gets the meanest goes, thing you can say. It's got really pretty dice. So yeah, what yeah, is it? Really so really whatever the number is, then double sure. it. <laughs> Don't gatekeep the dice. Oh, yeah, and this is going to be nasty. Plus 19 plus 4 becomes 23, plus 5. <laughs> plus 5 becomes 29. 29 twice. Okay, so, wow. so, 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 so do you want to roll for each one? You just roll once and then they all take the damage. Whatever you want to do. What's easiest for you? I mean, we just say the number and say that the one in the middle right there, the one that you've already hit, takes 29. Oh, 58, because I crit. Right, and the other two take 58. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crit the other okay. ones. Yeah, yeah, so we'll do it that way. That were work. all three critted, or were two of them? Two, two of them crit. It's pretty good. Is, that's fucking awesome. It's really lucky. Yeah. That's disturbing. <laughs> and then I say again, how's that for a field test? So, uh, you okay. nailed it. <laughs> How do you want to do this? Oh! Oh! As the one that was that was shambling towards yes! Denise, describe how the book transforms to facilitate your steel wind strike. I think that the book has like a bunch of it. Almost sounds like surgical equipment, but it's bookmarks being like, <laughs> and then he just nice. sort of like, and then shreds him up. Oh, Hell yeah! Paper yeah. <laughs> shredder. Oh, he like carves through. Yeah. 
poof, into all three of them. You see splashes and blasts of like destroyed plant matter and other forms of organic matter, but the one that, that currently had been kind of previously shredded by Orem and then hit heavily by you, it just explodes and just rains compost down onto everyone in the vicinity of it. Denise, you're just sprayed. <laughs> yeah, just full oh. of shit. <laughs> Um, Wait, on top of Border, who's already covered in vomit? Indeed, yes. I'm ready now. Shout out to well. Mother, because I saw what Denise was doing, and so I'm going to say, Mother, go to the loud one! Uh, because <laughs> she might need for sneak attack. Oh, so cool. she'll... oh yeah. Wait, what does that do? It's just that it will help you get sneak attack. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Right, oh, because, oh, yes, yes, enemy. yes. Oh, mm-hmm. what a night. Fantastic. You know what? You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Does that finish then, your turn? Yeah, and I'm still invisible. Right. You're still invisible. <laughs> you are still over here behind one of the big guys if you wanted to move. It doesn't know you're there as far as you um, know. Yeah, can I, like, really quietly move back? <laughs> yeah, I'll say it was invisible. You can, like, <laughs> scoot away a bit. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Going pretty well. There. She's had, she's an elf. She's had. Hundreds of years to work on her battle zingers, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> How's that for a field test? Because we're fighting, oh, sorry, was it not clear? We're fighting plants, right? Like they come from the field? Oh, 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 oh yeah. No, oh, I didn't so get that's that. why there was silence, because no one got it. Yeah, no one got it. <laughs> <laughs> the best jokes right. are the ones you have to explain. <laughs> <laughs> you're, like a, you're like a teenager with like, like, with like the, 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 the bath towel looking in the mirror, trying them out. Yeah. And you're like, oh. I just dreamed. I knew someday I'd get an actual battle, and I planned that I was going to say this, but I didn't know we were going to be fighting plants. It's perfect. It's perfect. Bordor, you're up. <laughs> Far out. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what do I want to do, guys? Farmer who doesn't know his own abilities, dude. Mm, Fight is right. And I don't Anything have. Could happen. Just a, yeah, I'm like learning it in real farm. time. <laughs> Pandora's box, but in a person. <laughs> kind of. We, um, uh, so I'm like hunched over, right? I've been. You've been sprayed with yours and other creatures' yeah. matter. It doesn't feel good. Not I gotta really. say. I don't like it. Um, I do. What's it? What's a cantrip? Cantrip is a spell. A spell. It's like a tiny little spell that you can do use as many times as you want. No ready. Okay, so I'm hunched over. I don't feel good. Mm-hmm. It's something, mm-hmm. guys. This is this. I don't like this at all. Uh, this doesn't. This is not going well. I, I feel like. Um, my fucking insides go to ice. They're mm-hmm. cold as shit, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna die. Like it's it. This is it for me. It's it's happening. But instead, as I'm hunched over, out of my back shoots a ray of frost <laughs> into, this, into this creature here. That guy's face. You got it. Go ahead and roll an attack with your spell attack modifier. Don't tell me what that means. Plus eight. So you go ahead and roll d20. Wait, so roll the d20. Roll that, yeah. And then add your 14. Plus eight. Plus, plus eight. Plus eight. 22. 22 hits. Go ahead and roll yeah. damage on it. Jesus Christ, you guys. <laughs> sharded shards. Yes. This is, this is. <laughs> you just hear Lana from above go, it gets better. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Promise. Which one is the eight? Sorry, guys. Oh, no, welcome to it. That's all good. Oh, this is the perfect diamond. Yeah. The perfect. That one. This? Yeah, yeah. Okay. two pyramids glued together. Mm-hmm. Two pyramids glued together for you at home. Mm. Learn. Watch and learn. <laughs> <laughs> My failures are your success. Um, six and eight is uh, Ooh, 14. Nice. Do I add this eight to it? No, it's just the 14. So okay, 14, 14 points of cold damage. Awesome. Does it seem like And then does it reduce its speed as a ray of frost? I think it reduces it by 10 feet, 10 feet. right? Okay. Awesome. So as you, as you lead forward and what the hell? <laughs> and the ray of frost fires up, <laughs> blasts the front of this creature, and as it <laughs> coasts up like a solid beam, as you kind of like lurch forward, it leaves ice crystals and freezes over this layer under the front of the plant creature that like has to back up, unable to like pull its physical body away before it <laughs> breaks out of the ice. But you can see it's like taking a heavy amount of damage from it. Not bad. Mm. Uh, you can stay put. You can move. But if you move away from it, it will get an attack of opportunity, likely. I'm gonna lie down and make myself a small target. <laughs> okay. <laughs> go, go pro. <laughs> Great. Does <laughs> that finish your turn? Really go huh? Finish your turn? <laughs> yeah, I'm done. You got it. Alrighty. Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> Top of the round. So uh, many magical people here, and yet 
I want to write about you the most. <laughs> <laughs> Orem, you're up first with Ladna on deck. Oh man, I can tell uh, the rough time that Bordor is having, so I'm going to leap. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to bait and switch this gentleman and drag him real quick. No. Yes, because he can't get attacked when I do it. Yep. And stand in front of his, his prone fetal position. Oh, you got it. Self. Thank you. What a <clears throat> perfect. What a hero. And uh, so like yank him back and lump it right in front of your yeah, shield. Yeah, grab him by the like the waist, by the by the, your waist and pull. Almost give you a wedgie, but don't drag you back and leap into where you were. It was twice you got wedgies in one <laughs> five minute period. Cool. I don't wear underwear. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's almost. <laughs> We're just going to start cutting. So and we're just getting real fresh with you. <laughs> Do I have any gas left in the tank? Not much. Regular. That's real low. That probably misses. That is a 14. 14 misses, unfortunately. Second is an 18, which hits. That does hit. That will be. Um, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. That is an, a 9. Action surge. I'm going to continue on here. Um, and I'm just. Uh, if the thing is tendrilling over, I'm trying to cut away what I take to be its spaghetti face. You got it. <laughs> Second attack is a 22, and the last one is a 16, so those both hit. Bang. Yes, they do. Five, uh, six, 11 more, and then 10 more. Ooh, and I just you. rain down green zucchini noodles. <laughs> just mulching oh, the thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and I whisper to you, you're amazing. <laughs> Don't you add, must you add to his AC? Uh, oh, that's right. Yes, he gets it all. One. Okay, so you get plus one to your AC for the next round. So him pulling you into a defensive position. Yep, the wedgie gives you a plus one to your AC. There you go. Didn't right. she give me something extra for my turn? Uh, she gave you, you an, an, an advantage. advantage on your next attack or next uh, roll that you make. Oh, god. Um, Bring finishing out then. Use it's not gone. Ladna, you're up with Denise on deck. Are these uh, the two? Uh, Plantimals uh, within like ten feet of each other. Like if I did a ten foot sphere, mm. it doesn't look like a ten foot it. radius. A ten foot radius between. A ten foot radius. If you were to put it high enough, you could hit them both, but you will also hit the reindeer. That's all right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I will hit the reindeer. Said, hit the reindeer. reindeer. <laughs> it's friendly. Um, I am going to uh, hit the planties with wither and bloom. Okay. Um, has the reindeer taken damage? Not no. yet. You've taken damage though, right? A little bit. A little bit, and you're right there in the middle. Yeah, but I'm protected by my hero. <laughs> and are you in there? Have He's you got taken... three feet of halfling in front of him. Yeah. <laughs> Have you taken damage? Uh, yes. A decent amount, or uh... it's fine. I'll give it to you because you got you're protecting. Um, Wither and bloom. So the two uh, the two baddies uh, have to make a Constitution saving throw. Constitution and then save. You get to roll a hit dice if you want to. Damn! It's a 12 on the guy who's frightened of you, okay. and a, an eight on the other ones. So they both fail. fail. So they take necrotic damage, and it says veg vegetation in that area withers. I don't know if this applies to them, but that would be cool if they do, especially because that was a dog shit roll. I'll say, I'll say six add points. An, add an additional d6 as part of them okay. being vegetation and necrotic. I'll take it, yeah. Four total of. It's, uh, 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 11 points to both of them. You gotcha, 11 nice. points and to each. And then Orum gets his hit dice. Thank you. I'm going to quicken, I'm going to quicken that one. And then um, that, that was a quicken spell. And then I'm going to pew pew hit them both with Eldritch Blast. Roll for two Eldritch Blast attacks, go for it. Um, okay, we'll take the one that was closest. Uh, 13 plus 8 is 21. And then the other one was real bad uh, for 11. 11 misses, unfortunately. Okay, so you the, hit one the, the one that's already frightened Afraid you? of me. Though he'll, he'll be, won't be frightened at the end of this turn, right? Uh, he he won't, although he's safe. got a I'm still form of dread, so they actually both have to roll, have to roll against their wisdom if saving throws. Okay, got it. So, well, at least one of them that you hit, right? Correct. So the one that, that's already frightened. Uh, that's well, going to be. I hit them both with Wither and Bloom, though. Oh, that's true, yeah. So, natural 16, success. That guy fails. So, it's uh, the the frightened adjusts over. Okay. Now be on this one. Oh, thank God. And. Vegemite splatters everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Smells and... yeasty in here. <laughs> 
<laughs> he takes, okay, it is up to a d4 now. Uh, another nine Eldritch Blast damage. You got it. Just <laughs> throwing it down from the top of the tree. Yeah, that's right. my turn. That's your turn. Yeah. All right, that brings us to Denise with Ashlyn on deck. All right, so Denise okay. is going to run up and with all of her little dwarven might, is going to jump as high as she can towards this suddenly Seymour yeah. uh, plant. You got it. Well, at the top of your turn, the oh. terrifying stench that seems to permeate the air surrounding this one odd flower oh, filled with corpses and mm. rotting flesh uh, threatens to overwhelm you. Go ahead and make a constitution saving throw it's for a corpse it. Corpse flower. Is it a poison? Oh, uh, this is, uh, it is considered a poison effect, I'd say. So, oh, well. So you have advantage uh, on the roll. I do have, a, because of, I'm dwarven. Indeed you are. Okay, so that's, okay, that's. Okay, okay I'm going to go with the other one, so that's going to, plus this is going to be 16. Is it, it a it was save? A thir- a oh wait. Con save, yeah. Oh, plus that. eight. Okay, so what's thirteen plus eight? Anyone? Anyone? Uh, more than enough. More than enough. You've more you've, than you've than wallowed in the worst All right. elements of urban society. This is nothing. This is nothing. I've smelled dead bodies in the hole. Um, and then, so can I do that? Can I jump and try to like stick my sickle right in the back? Yeah. You can and and then just let the weight of it just it sort down. of drag it down. Yeah, you can. Okay, let's see what that's. Now, because you have Ashton in combat, you don't have you get sneak attack for attack. Yeah. So. Go what does that mean? You get so, add sneak attack damage if you hit. Oh, if I also, hit it. Also, hit you it? have advantage. Okay, so that's 10 plus 10 oh. is yeah, 20. I sent, I sent Mother over. Well, that's true, yeah. yeah. So you have advantage okay, on the attack great. as well. So that's 20 to hit. That definitely hits. Okay, now I get my D8. <laughs> plus 2D6. Oh. For sneak attack oh, damage. Oh, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, so then that plus 8 is 11. 11. <laughs> and the sneaks. And then the sneakies. And that's going to be 10. So 21. 21 points of damage yes. to that first strike as you stab into it, <laughs> full weight, as the raven over here is like, ah, ah, Thanks, like mother. making the plant really confused. Yeah, yeah, as you yeah. drag down, go ahead and roll for your next attack. Okay, or, well my next attack I would like to be, so did it Did it fall, did it falter, what happened? I mean it took a heavy hit, but it's still looking so like So maybe, it. so then maybe as it kind of, because I kind of like, Weighted down a little bit. Maybe I can just take it and try to sma- slice one of its legs off. Sure. Because I think there's like tentacle legs. All right, so yeah, you, you, you drag down for the first strike, withdraw the blade, and then swing underneath. Okay, so that's 16, but I don't get any anything special with that because only sneak attacks for the first one, right? Correct. So 16 to 16 hit. 16 hits. Go okay. ahead and roll damage. So, ah, whoa. Ooh. Seven plus eight Tricky. is 15. Indeed. And I don't think I add anything to that. So it's 15. Yep, just 15. So you cut through like two of its dangling, kind of load-bearing leg vines. Uh, it kind of shifts to one side, but then manages to catch itself and right its balance. But it's a heavy hit. Okay. Still have your bonus action. Yeah, can I uh, try to like use one of my legs to kind of like swipe the, the, the legs that it's on to see if, it, if I can knock it prone as my bonus? As a bonus action, you're trying to knock it down. You, you, the only bonus action attack you could take would be with your whip. With my whip. Okay, then I'll take that fucking whip and try to grab one or two legs and see if I can pull it, see if I can <laughs> knock it for Okay, sure, I'll allow it. So go ahead and, okay. so this isn't a damage attack, you just go ahead and it would be your Raging. athletics. This, you're using your bonus action yeah. essentially to shove or knock it down, gotcha. so go ahead and roll an athletics check athletics versus check. its Ooh. athletics as well. Okay, so that's going to be, hold on now, that's going to be a, a 21. 21, it rolled a 19. Ooh. So after striking it twice, you pull out your whip and yank it out from underneath the whole creature. Slams into the ground prone. Yes. What is it called? Yeah. Love it. And that's, right. that's my turn. That's your turn. Alrighty. Finishing the nieces go. Ashton, you're up. It's down. It is. Cool. So I'm just going to start wailing. I'm just going to start pushing it back into the earth. Okay. Um, and I've got advantage because it's on the ground. You do. All right. First hit is. Backwards. Come on. Uh, 18. 18 hits. All right. I'm going to do that. Uh, let's see, 18. Uh, so that's. There's my brain. Look at that. That's. Uh, come on, roll well. Uh, 12 points of damage. 12 points of damage in the first hit. Um, and then let's do this again. Make sure I'm doing this right, too. Uh, well, I'll check in a second. Also, if you wouldn't mind, mm-hmm. we'll finish that. Uh, the next one is 21 to hit. 21 to hit, all right. And roll a constitution saving throw for me real fast. Okay, since you were okay. within the century, yes. Uh, 
Uh, 16? 16 success, yes. Continue okay. your turn as normal. Uh, <laughs> all right, I was just about to roll damage. I'm also going to do a thing that I have to quickly look up because I don't remember quite how it works. Uh, Been a few which is, well, I'll do the damage while I do this. You got it. Um, seven, uh, uh, it's 15 points of damage. 15 points of damage in there, all right. Uh, and uh, da 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 da. Uh, sorry, this is going to be a quick thing that I look up. It won't take more than a second. Uh, I'm going to push it in a, I just have to see if it has a, um, if we can do anything about this. Um, I'm going to push it um, into the cart, so I'm going to, I'm going to uh, give it a shove with that last hit and kind of scrape it against, uh, uh, in the ground and move it five feet away from me. Okay. It doesn't have to go directly against me, I can move it in any direction I like. All right, so where do you want to move it? Um, I'm going to move it. I'm going to make it so both of us have have a uh, have five feet, so that neither of us are within its. You're pushing it range. into the. Oh, you're bringing the dwarf into the cart. Into the cart. Yep. <laughs> and now um, I'm going to. The cart is destroyed, splintered <laughs> on the ground. Where did all that food? Uh, Sorry. What was in that cart? <laughs> and now I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. There weren't any sheep in there. Nice. Right there. Uh, and I'm gonna uh, oh roll around to the other to the other uh, uh, side of the uh, of the little path over there, uh, and kind of no. give a little coverage to our, our sad little uh, right over here. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, to our to our uh, sad elf on the ground. Uh, All right. So you're moving out of its combat range. Well, I should have pushed it five feet out of the combat range anyway. Oh, so you push it five feet away from you? Yeah. So. Alrighty. Um, it has it reached 10 feet? Oh. So as you move from its range, that's fine. as a reaction, one of its tendrils reaches out to strike you. My own fault. Uh, that's going to be a 15 to hit. Nope. And you just, just yes. take it off your foot Fucker. and continue over to that space. Does that finish your turn, Ashen? Yep. All right, it is now its turn. It's going to go ahead and stand up. No. Sorry, wow. I tried. It has no legs. How can it? It's not demoralized? It's you demoralized. Want to do it? <laughs> look, uh, look I, I've been demoralized many times in my life and still stood up, so. Hey, can't relate to that one. It's going to shift forward <laughs> angrily <laughs> over towards Denise. It's just kind of reaching out whatever's in front of it. It's going to try and strike you twice. Okay. No. Sorry. My friend. No, no, no. Uh, now this will be. Oh, actually, you're going to be great. Never mind. Tell me why. It's going to go ahead and attack you twice. That's going to be a 19 to hit. It hits. What? And a 21 to hit. Uh, it hits too. And then it's going to strike out once to you. Can it make? It can't make it. I'm out of range. Uh, it moved up to her, which puts you in 10 foot range. I, I, okay, I thought I was going further over. I'm so sorry. Like, do you want to move further over? Yeah, I'm so sorry. I was like going to cover. Uh, yeah, okay. cover the border. Sorry about then that. Then all three on you, Denise. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, that's not bad. That's fine. I can uh, take it. That's another 20. Welcome. Wait, so how many? So many barbs. Barbs. total? So it's three oh. hits no, on you. No damage yet. Silvery barbs. Never mind. Line. That is going to be. Oh, thank you. Uh, 21. So Fuck it's me still the same. Fuck me sideways. <laughs> oh, I did. Damn it! Made it worse. Well, I just hit you three times. I'm gonna roll for damage now. She said sideways on a tree. <laughs> she is on a tree. All right, so. God, scary. I'll take an extra one of fear damage. 10 points of bludgeoning damage, reduced okay. to five, because you're Great. raging. Plus <coughs> nothing. Plus. advantage to Denise with there the dollar go. sign. Plus 11 points of poison damage. But there's poison <laughs> resistance, or? Can I poison? So you take half of that. Oh, great! So you take five points. Five points. Being a dwarf, man. They can take Love poison. dwarfs. Second hit does 11 points of bludgeoning damage, reduced to five. Plus. <laughs> Ten points of poison damage, also reduced to five. Okay. Third strike does eight points of blushing damage, reduced to four. Plus fourteen points of poison damage, reduced to seven. Okay. Right. It is Denise nails time. I know. The Hello. It's like yeah. DMV nails. Just what? Yep. <laughs> More with that. As a bonus action, oh, you see the multiple like bodies, like the long rotted corpses that it's kind of pulled into its form. One of them kind of. Sinks inside, and you hear this horrible crunching and sucking sound. Oh no! He's getting hit points back. As you watch it begin to recover some of its wounds. Yes. Boo! Which one is this one? This is our little fucking Seymour fucker. Why Seymour? It's good to it's good tell. Already, uh, finishing its go. It's now the other creature here is no longer frightened. What? Um, it's going to move over to you, Orem. Sure. Uh, it's going to take. Two slam attacks at you. Slam attacks. Uh, that's going to be a twenty-two to hit. Yes. And the next one is going to be. Woo! God damn it. Uh, Twenty-five to hit. Oddly, that one doesn't hit. Yeah, it's so strange. That's right, so the first slam attack. Bludgeoning hits you for 
12 points of bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. Into your shield, you still like deflect most of the hit, but the sheer force of it causes your bones to rattle on the inside of your body. The second one is going to be 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. okay. And as both arms <laughs> to the sides of you, take, take both hits, you're okay, and then feel its tendrils wrap around you. Oh, yeah. oh, what? And it what? swallows you into the form. Marisha, I've gone into the plant. No! The stinkies? No, the other one. The other one. It has we'll devoured Orum. <clears throat> All right. And then it's going to move forward. It's one of those kind of nights. It's going to shift over towards the two of you. Oh, God, and fall over. Wait, you got eaten? Yes. Swallowed. Yes. Jonah. Do, do you feel safe now? Prism, you're up with Bordor on deck. Oh, I'm up. Okay. Um. Here's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Danios, follow that little man. <laughs> and Danios can move through creatures, so I want him oh, to go beautiful. inside oh. the creature to where he was what eaten. Is this? And then I want to cast Dimension Door through him as Whoa. if I were his eyes, and bring Orem out. Okay. So we'll say we'll say that it moves into its mouth, like it goes and chases after, like. I suppose if it's your command. <laughs> and the book shh, jumps into the mouth well, after Orem. Like the weird stuff. <laughs> you promised you wouldn't tell anyone. <laughs> in the inside it's of the creature, for your dad. you all see this <laughs> the strange purple like light that glows out of what little bit of its inner gold that you can see, and both of them shh, teleport to where? Ooh. Um. Okay. Well, I don't think that I would be so strategic about this. I think I'll probably just thrust them like either right here or right here. I'll thrust them right here. Right here on the far end. <laughs> I'll just like nice little cake down. toppers. Oh, just yeah. <laughs> We got a ringer here. <laughs> wow. You land as the book is like somewhat lashed onto your shoulder and then it pulls away and kind of floats there in the air and you can see that weird scrunched up face is like, Now's when you say thank you. <laughs> I flash through the Crown Keepers, Bell's Hells, and these weirdos, and I just go double vision for a second. <laughs> I'll take it, fine. All right, so that's your action and grand Yeah, back. Still... and then I'm going to also just say, how's that for a field test? <laughs> <laughs> Not another bad joke the same. <laughs> I, just, I, 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 I feel like you guys, you guys know the context now, so maybe you're ready to laugh at it. <laughs> right? Perfect. Oh, God. I usually hang out with books, so uh, <laughs> getting no laugh doesn't really mean anything. And <laughs> trust me, we enjoy it thoroughly. <laughs> uh, do you want to stay put, or? Um, I think I'm going to stay put because right. no one's clocked me. That's true. Staying invisible has that effect. All right, finishing your go. Bordor, you're up with Orm on deck. What the hell? Top of your turn, go make a constitution saving throw for me as the terrible stench of that massive flowered creature uh, threatens to overwhelm you. And you have advantage? 11. You have advantage? Oh, oh, yes. oh if you want to take it. Oh. <laughs> That's going to be an 11. That's an 11. <laughs> oh, no. All righty. Oh, boy. As it fills your lungs, unable to keep it back, you end up coughing into a heavy coughing fit, and you are considered poisoned until the start of your next turn. Oh, yeah. Wow, what are, what's going to come out of you? Everything already has. <laughs> There's nothing left. So is that it? Is that my turn? No, no, no. It just means your 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 rolls are at disadvantage. Mother as you are, of pearl. You are you're in the dry heaving stage of your evening. <laughs> She's the <laughs> wish. I I didn't sign up for this shit. It's the worst. Um, okay. When, when nothing's coming you out. You know what? Oh. You're just still. <laughs> so, <laughs> it, it, yeah, I know. Just, uh, <laughs> ah. I'm on the ground. That thing is over us, right? Yep, yeah, you are like between two of them, just kind of storming okay. over you. Oh, fuck it. I'm gonna, um, is it an animal? Uh, they, are, they are not beasts, they are creatures. No, no, no. Uh, no. Would, would calm emotions work on something like this? Calm, calm emotions is usually humanoids. Yeah. These creatures, I would say, don't really seem humanoid. Mother of God. Okay. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. What are you doing? Um, Defend yourself, nice. buddy. I'm going to. I don't know what to do here. I'm going to, uh, but I'm so close to it, right? I'm super close. You're super close to, to one or the other, yeah. Just uh, fling a high level spell for fun. Okay, so I look at it. You can't get up and move if you want. And like. I. 
Nah, I'm. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm good call. Good call. Right. Respect good call. that. Respect that. Uh, I'm scared. All right, no, I respect I, that. But Frozen I with fear. Kind, I remember that being really, really scared <laughs> is sort of how that lightning bolt thing happened the first time. Yeah, yeah. So I tap into the fear, and I look up at fucking Swamp Thing, and mm-hmm. uh, point my finger, and just hope for the best, and let go a fourth level. Lightning bolt. And yeah. which one, the flower or this guy? No, 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 that one that's over. Over you right there? Yeah, that guy. Okay. Um, she released the bolt and it strikes into the creature. It just kind of absorbs it. You got oh, it. Oh, what? Fuck's sake. Oh. They like lightning? Is it, it's immune? It's immune to lightning. Oh. No! no. I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, and now, but now maybe I should move. Um, uh, I can, I can get away, right? If you want to, you can, you can stand up for half your movement, and if you move away from it, it might get an attack of opportunity on you. Mother of, um, yeah, yeah, you might just stay. I. You might want to stand up. Yeah, you've heard it. I look at stand up. <laughs> stand up. I look and at throw Orem in front. Ashton, right? I don't know. Lying yeah. down is really great. For I look comedy. at Ashton. Yeah. I, 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 I know. I know. It. Don't kill the lily. Stand up and be ready to dodge. <laughs> okay, I'll stand up. Okay. I think that's probably the best thing to I'll do at this point. I'll stand up and be like, it worked. Oh no. Fuck. <laughs> It's just like this, like slight, sh- this little mist that kind of comes off where the impact was, and it just kind of <laughs> shakes it off. Okay. Um, and so fire is weak. Turn. Lightning is uh, yeah. no go. Yeah. Say whoops. Immune. <laughs> or you're Sorry. Up. It was a good call. <laughs> on, on deck. Okay. Uh, it was a good call. <laughs> bonus action to take my second wind and get a little bit of life back in me. You got it. Then I. Um, Spring, flea jump off of my ledge. Ashton feels Orem land on his shoulders. Yep. And then I spring up into the air, and you see Orem spin (laughs) and slash one, slash twice as he uh, slides down to the ground in front of this thing. Just the coolest. That is a miss on the first, total miss. And the second one hits real hard. 19 to 29. Hell yeah. Um, Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, as I, actually I'm gonna try to like, this is not gonna work, but I'm gonna make it a strip attack. So that is just seven points of damage, but I wanna give it the extra. I've been rolling too low on the superiority die all night. 10, there you okay, go. so it's a total of 17, and it has to make a strength save against total my half for a 17. How do you wanna do that? <gasps> oh my God! Oh, sweet Jesus. Ah. Okay, so spinning, leap off of Ashen's shoulders, come spinning. First one, it's uh, a tendril like slaps the blade out of the way, but the second time, I uh, hold the blade in close and sneak past its <laughs> as I go down. And I, uh, after having watched the dwarf, I slash at a tendril leg and then just rip up uh, yeah. to let it fall down. Nice. As you tear through. More caca. <laughs> You you release <laughs> one last burst of that wind blade energy from earlier that was kind of like sitting in the reserves of your weapon, and as you strike upward, it extends out 15 feet like a blade that just carves through like an executioner's axe upward. The creature and just settles into two piles of rapidly rotting plant matter. Oh, it had been a while. <laughs> Chinese or Italian? All right. <laughs> Always. Always. All right, Ladna, you're up. All right. Does how how is how is the smelly flower looking? Uh, it's even, looking a little hurt. A oh, little hurt. It looks, but I just regained a little bit of its health. It seemed. It has a cachet of dead matter within that it seems to be cannibalizing as it progresses through. Well, from mm. one corpse to the next, I can't allow that. So <laughs> I am going to do. Chill touch to it. Ooh. Chill touch, which is uh, what's the range on that? Two hundred and forty feet, because I'm a spell spell sniper. That's true. Yeah, no worries. You can't even do that without that. A hundred percent. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna quicken that as well. Just might as well. Go for it. First one. Cool. It's just it's all right. 
16. 16 hits. Oh, that's, that's It's a massive enough. beast. It's kind of easy to strike it. Broadside of a barn. If a barn was Oof. a plant filled with corpses. Mm -hmm. Yucky damage roll, but that's okay. Six damage, and it cannot regain hit points. Oh, oh nice. Nice. Good looking out. All righty. So that's your so you bonus just, action quicken spell, yeah. I, I you see Ladna just take her like branchy hand as she shoves it into the boughs of the tree, and then you see just coming up from underneath the corpse flower a bony branchy tree come up and just grab it and slam it. Yes. And it like <laughs> siphons. Face. And then, oh. Yeah. And then I'm gonna dump <laughs> um Two Eldritch Blasts into it as well. Go for it. Those should both hit. Um, that's a 17 and 20. Yeah, both hit. Go and roll damage. Uh, so that, ooh, uh, okay. That's 14 for the first one and eight for the second one. You got it. All righty. Does that finish your turn? Oh, no. Damn it. That finishes my turn. Alrighty. Denise, you're up with Ashton on deck. So, what, how does this uh, plant look? Is it just kind of like face down, tendrils? It, like it's slammed in the ground by the chill touch and it's like starting to pick itself back ah. up. It's, it's, re it's getting itself back into a defensive position, but you can see there's like arcane ice and mm. this kind of necrotic energy that's now kind of surging through it like veins that's oh. left over from when Ladna hit it. Okay, well, um, if as it gets up, I would love to like somersault under it and then maybe take my sickle as I go and see if I could slice it as I somersault. Yes, you um, can. And let's see that. And you can roll with advantage because of uh, mother. Thanks, ma thanks mother. mother. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, I'll do the other one, uh, and that's uh, what's 17 plus 9. Mm -hmm. uh, that hits, probably. Uh, 20, 20, 26. So your mother raven, does it have to be next to the creature to give it advantage? I don't know, to be honest. I haven't really done this trick before. <laughs> <laughs> Just double checking so we can learn as we go forward. So, uh, yeah. Advantage from the silvery barbs. So. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Regardless. So I'll just uh, use that. So 17 plus 9. There you go. That definitely hits. Oh, this went down. This used to be 10. That's weird. Okay, so that definitely hits. So now let, wait, it all went down. Did I fuck this up? Okay, 1d4, which is this one. Wait, this all changed. Did, oh, no, 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 I'm looking at the wrong one. I'm sorry, guys. That's okay. <laughs> I'm new at this. There you okay. go. Okay, that's an eight Ooh. plus eight is 16. Oh, oh. And is that a, do I still get the 2d? Uh, Sneak attack, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you okay. do. Snack attack. Uh, and that's gonna be an eight. So 18 plus 16. Ooh, that's a good heavy fucking hit. Yeah, do math yeah, with yeah. the acrylics. I just yeah. imagine Denise just being like clack, 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 clack. clack, clack, clack. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. So a heavy strike as you stab up into it, you can see part of it cracks open and that horrible stench kind of spills out. I do need you to make a constitution saving throw for me. With advantage, because you're a dwarf. Oh, thank God. Oh my God. Oh, fuck. oh no. Oh, that's bad too. Okay, so. Four plus eight, Super you guys. High. It's really fucking horrible. That you rolled a seventeen on the first roll. No four. Oh, it was a four. Oh, mm. sorry. Nice knowing you. Four <laughs> total of. Um, hold on. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. So actually, your first attack, both of your attacks would have been at disadvantage because you would have been poisoned by this now. Dang. Oh. So that Dang. first strike still would have hit and did that damage. Okay. But the second attack, go ahead okay. and roll once more. With disadvantage to see if this one hits or not. With disadvantage, Come okay. Well, Come on. Well, that, what was that hit there? 11. 11 plus. Plus uh, 10, so 21. Okay. It still hits. So it still hits. Still hits. So yeah, okay. so go ahead and roll great. damage for the last, okay, second one. Great. Okay, great. Ah! Ah! <laughs> wow, Amy. Wow. Yeah, no, it's 13. Uh, and that's it. I don't do the do. Nope. Okay, 13 so 13 points of damage. Okay, so the Math's like awesome. into your lungs, you can feel the pain, the, the burning sensation of it kind of piercing inside of your breath <laughs> as you kind of hold it off and then take that second strike with the blade. How do you want to do this? Oh! oh! Well, I didn't bad plan on that. And then, um, well, I think because I'm under it, so I'm going to want to somersault away. <laughs> to the other side, and um, wow, I don't know how. And then um, I guess I will t look at it and say, "Gross, you stink! Get the fuck away from me!" And then I'm gonna kick it in the <laughs> face, and then I'm gonna take my whip and just like a dominatrix, just kind of go, "Bad boy." <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so. You know, in character. Right, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. Yeah. So, <laughs> Denise carves into the speed. Like, have an Altoid. <laughs> <laughs> very, very bad, like your breath stings. Have an Altoid, a Tic Tac. Perfect. <laughs> Carving into it twice, it kicks it off so and causes it to stumble and hit the ground. Yeah. <laughs> right as. It's a good measure. She's just talking at its corpse. Yeah, pretty much. She's just yeah. talking yeah. shit all the whole right. time. It goes on for another minute. <laughs> yeah. You brush your teeth. Brush your fucking teeth. <laughs> brush your fucking teeth. Moment of calm hits. The adrenaline still pumping through your veins. The brief reminder that even in the middle of the night, places of seeming natural solace have dangers lurking in every shadow, but successful. Breathing heavy, you take stock of those around you. What the fuck is Prism? She all right? right? Where the fuck she go? I'm right here. I don't oh. drop the invisibility. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here. Hello. Book glides over. She does this, don't worry. She'll turn up an hour. No, sure. Oops, sorry. Hi, I'm right in front of your face. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, crack a little bit as I skitter back down the tree, and then on all fours, just run over on top of Border and say, are you all right? <laughs> oh my god. Right. Um, do I still have, am I still getting poison damage, or am I okay? You're not taking poison damage, you're just considered poison. So you're for the for the next, oh, disadvantage. although they only not until the next turn, so about now you're starting, starting to wear off, so you're just like oh. starting to kick it off a bit. Sorry, everyone, I'm fine. I'm sorry for, I may have lost my cool a little bit back there. Yeah, you laid down on the ground. I, uh, <laughs> I've never been in a combat situation. I also haven't. <laughs> oh. Let me. You'll both job. do better next time. You'll both really do better next time. Yeah, sorry guys. I think I, I wasn't even here. No, I wasn't even here. good. You hit. You hit well. It's right. also on us. We shouted into the woods. Yeah, that probably wouldn't have happened if we hadn't done that. That's so. It's okay. I wanted terrifying. to give it a. May survey. I help you up? Yes. Thank. And I'm sort of. So is this sort of the only thing that you do? Oh, it's, it, it, yes, um, it's m sort of my thing. Oh my God. You get, hey, you, you get know, used to it. You don't have to have one thing. You oh, contain right. multitudes. Oh my gosh, thank you. And She's I, right. For your first field test, incredible job. I know you, is, I sensed a, like a bit of insecurity. Yeah, about no, not having the like the word apprentice is sure in my head a lot. But it's clear you studied. You studied hard. Yeah. You came. You delivered. I came. You proved yourself. Mm. Well, um, uh, is that what battle always feels like? Because I considered it to be a bit thrilling. I didn't know that I would like the way it felt. It, 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 it can be a lot. That was uh, honestly. This was. Pretty, pretty chill as it goes, all things considered. Maybe it's just that we've had a really long day, I don't know. And Denise, uh, you've um, hmm? seemed quite skilled, obviously, yeah. not your first it's not my rodeo. First rodeo. You kicked ass, yes. that was fucking great. Hey, you kicked ass, yeah. hey! God, that was fucking, Good uh, team. I love that thing, by the way, that's so cool. I love your thing, what does that say on it? Oh, it says, it says, oh, it says, uh, fuck off, right hey. there, right there. I mean, like, that's why I liked your earrings. Wow, so cool. wow, all right, yeah, you're pretty all right. Fucking cool. Pretty All right. Cool. Yeah. Nice, nice, uh, nice going to battle with you. Yeah. You know, being in battle together is nice. Hey, and I want to thank you, begrudgingly, for sending Mother my way. You're all right. <laughs> the raven kind of curls its wings up on her shoulder. <laughs> you, you can borrow her anytime. Thank you. Why Mother? I named her after my mother. Oh. Your mother's name was Mother. But that, to me, yeah. Oh, and your father's name is Denise. Uh, and in the shadow realm, the matron of ravens is kind of like a big thing. So. When I was at the Cobalt Soul, I don't know, maybe it was a bout of nostalgia, so I just named her mother, kind of like after Matron of Ravens, but also my mother. Oh, that tracks. Yeah. Oh. Also, it's just kind of fun to shout mother at a raven. I, I can really see that, actually. It's been a really long day. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, uh, that, was, that was good. We should probably find somewhere safe to sleep. I don't think we're gonna make it to town. No? We're not gonna find like a hotel or something? Not tonight. Well, I don't think. We're all lost. None of us are supposed to be here. Why don't we um, try to make a go of it here? Obviously, we have to stay awake, some of us, in case plants. How did your reindeer fare? 
You look around, and the reindeer ran off when the cart was destroyed by one of these creatures and just fled in fear. Um, you don't see it around you at the moment. How do you how do you feel about that? God, are you super attached? Do you guys have a connection? We could probably find I'm that. sure he'll come back. Ah, if you love it, let it go. I could yeah, send pate for a little scout. Yeah, I can find a friend. <laughs> you don't have to be so abrasive. I don't know how else to be. I'm not sure. You made me like this. I'm, I'm not sure the dead squirrel will be much help right now, he but I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you. It's nice manners. <clears throat> I, I, uh, nice manners, yes. Uh, so there's no, town is still really far away? Civilization. Maybe we. I mean, like we're all tired. We can maybe make it by morning. But if if more shit comes, I don't know. Seems like at least hours. Yeah, from I think maybe the we should sleep. Right. Could be. So, rest time. Can we scavenge to see if anything is salvageable from the little cart that fell apart? Yeah, like an investigation food? check for me. A what? An investigation <laughs> check. <laughs> that, <didn't count. laughs> no, no, no. that slipped. Um, investigation eight. Eight. It's not a great investigator. I mean, there's there's some Big elements of, of food. food and tools, but they've like a lot of shards of oh. plant matter and whatever spilled and what oily substances leaked from those creatures you destroyed. It's there's just suffused a lot jerky. of it. Yeah. If there's um some sort of cave or something, hmm. yeah. uh, I could like arm it so that we would be alerted if something was going to attack us. Yeah, that's pretty handy. Yeah, how would you arm it? How would I arm it? Yeah. Well, <laughs> thank you so much for asking. Um, I would probably create a glyph and I would either make it explode or um, maybe shoot missiles or fire oh, or yes. um, I'm really new to spell casting, so I'm just getting creative. I that's could do that. a lightning. You, you could do, a, he could do a lightning. He could do a lightning. When I'm scared. <laughs> I'll, I'll say that's really cool, uh, but you uh, just as a pro tip, um, uh, an exploding glyph at the front of a cave could oh go real bad. Heaven. Yeah, real mm. quick. But that it's I, I, I appreciate I the enthusiasm. Do, I could just do a magic mouth and if if someone comes then it will just start shouting, Intruders! I actually kinda like that. That's abrasive. It's very it's very yeah. unnerving. We look around for a cave. I don't know if we're gonna find Yes, a it cave. would be contingent on finding a cave. We could I mean you both seem really strong. Maybe you could kind of build us a cave with a bunch of these trees mm -hmm. if we don't mind the deforestation of it all. Okay, can you quickly build us a <sighs> small lodging? <laughs> I would, but these are oaks and there's you know, I don't wanna No, I'm not gonna <laughs> <these trees. laughs> California joke. There yeah. We go. Uh, <laughs> well the fire's still going, right? Uh, it, it's mostly in cinders now, as the destruction of the cart and the nearby chaos kind of knocked around much of the uh, the flames and the, the fire pit itself. So, well, maybe we just leave the fire out and we don't make noise anymore, mm -hmm. like before, mm -hmm. and just take shifts. And my my hearing is exceptional mm -hmm. from working with the sheep's mm -hmm. on the mountain, and I want to thank you for saving my life multiple times over just now. I'll take first. Watch. I don't need much sleep. Can I ask how um, hearing comes into play with working with sheep? I was just thinking that. I just, I'm such a curious girl. It, uh, I'm a curious girl. <laughs> it just popped into my head. <laughs> I, uh, I think because they're such quiet animals. The other team did goats. We can't do that bit, you guys. <laughs> Quiet hearts. Um, you have to be able to hear the sheep's heart yeah, beat well, through the wool. Well, if they're good, mm -hmm. stray sheep, right? I, I just want to be have to find a benefit sheep. to the group. I'm feeling very insecure about my uh, <laughs> performance um, in this my first battle. Mm -hmm. I just want to help in any way I can. Mm -hmm. I really think you did fine. You did a great job. Thank you for seeing me, even though I was invisible. You, you, I, I saw the book. Yeah. Those were great. Thank you. I did most of the work. Oh, you were incredible. You really. went through <laughs> that guy. Yes, multiples, actually. So cool. You, now you know why she's still alive. Hey, Denise, I just got a compliment and now you're taking it, okay? I thought that was more of like a splash compliment. We were for both of us, mostly me and you. Were, they were, Fucking I'm not fair. Away from Com you. Complaint rescinded. Fair. <clears throat> 
Um, should we also, I mean, maybe this is just a really weird idea, but what if we also made like a really obvious decoy? Mm -hmm. You know, like mm -hmm. made it look like someone was having camp. I've got an idea. We've got those two dead bodies. Yes, that, we do. That's what I was thinking. I, <laughs> I could smell them. Mm -hmm. They're really... They've been in there for a moment. Ripe. Yes. Yep. So maybe we make a small campfire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A big one. With a two, big one. With two corpses sitting around. Of all the terrible <laughs> shit that has gone on in the last 24 hours, this is maybe a seven. Yeah. We yeah. camp out up the hill. Yeah. Can I put Two a, of us stay awake. a magic like mouth on both of the corpses to oh. scream, <laughs> no! <laughs> if anyone attacks no. them. That's pretty great. We're fully weakened and burning. Exactly. No, that's yeah, that's that's good thinking. I'm not not yeah. Well, uh, yeah. It casts as a ritual, yeah. An affectionate right. bird. <laughs> I like it. I take my um. The last hole's dispelled, so you guys could be well off here two months later, and the next person that finds it. <laughs> okay, we'll have one say no, and the other one say I don't like it. <laughs> How long does the spell no, last, by the way? Until dispelled. <laughs> so it's just months of just it's, no, I no. We've made an no, interactive no, art exhibit, I think. You if really, you really we've I made think an so, yeah. Exhibit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we prop up our bodies, sitting there on that chair. I'm assuming you can cast a magic bucket. mouth twice on two different things. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, great. All right, we're just gonna make sure anything we could possibly want on these bodies is gone, and we'll prop them up. Yeah, so we'll get a little campfire going down here at the bottom yeah. of the ridge. We'll sit up the two corpses. Up there. Okay. If anyone has any trash, litter it around. Mm -hmm. I, I take my um, I, my spool, and I I take like a long stick and I tie it to one, put a piece of like, That's of border's shit. jerky at the end, like he's roasting, you know, a piece of meat. <laughs> <laughs> and, Full uh, diorama over here. Okay, yes, okay, yeah, yeah. Like, um, convince the, uh, <laughs> where he's in, yeah. the, in the yeah. shower with the <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Two of us like sit there all night just moving. Every time the wind blows a branch, they both like hug briefly and then. Oh my God. No, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, actually, I am going to glyph of warding a mage hand to move them if someone Walks nearby. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Raffaire's Buellering this whole setup. Yeah. This is great. Could you put the mage oh, yeah. hand under a real hand? Just have it go like. Yeah. <laughs> like it's laughing. Perfect. Like, oh. Magic mouth says, "Hey, stranger." <laughs> you take a solid thirty minutes oh, setting up this arrangement in a very like elaborate presentational camp setup. I've forgotten. I've forgotten why we're doing this. Yeah. I think we're doing this. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, in, in the interim, uh, yeah. within the next twenty minutes, you find a little ways up the hill. There is not a like a deep cave, but there is uh, like a 15 foot alcove underneath one of the, the cliff faces that climbs up the wall where you think it could settle in somewhat hidden uh, comparatively and set up camp for the majority of your troop. Do you guys have like um, an extra bed roll or something? I think we do. It wasn't a hole with the corpses, but mm -hmm. we have it. Yeah, hold on. I smell a bit musty, but I'm gonna go in and yeah, get get all of the extra stuff because we theoretically had... we have everyone else's stuff. We have a lot of everybody else's stuff. Yes. Who are so. the other people? Who's everyone else? They got tell they got teleported somewhere. They got they're somewhere they're somewhere else. Yeah, that's we, back to we where we assume we started to talk else. about this. We were at the spot where this began. Um, Who did we, it? Uh, a mage out of uh, Rack Centrum. There was this. You know him? Uh, what What was his name, or maybe what did he look like? Ludinus to left. Do we know Ludinus? You, as a member of the Cobalt Soul, especially in the Order of Mages, would know exactly who this is, though you probably haven't had any interactions with them. They are the leader of the Cerberus Assembly, one of the most powerful mage uh, groups. In Exandria and heavily involved in the politics and uh, structure of the, the Dwendalian Empire in Wildmount. I'll send you an overview and email. But um, yeah, this Short is. Short answer? Yes. <laughs> is that the motherfucker running his mouth? Yep. He was. He had this whole um, shadow organization as well called the Ruby Vanguard. That... So what were they trying to do? Yeah, what was well, the point of this? It turns out that Ruidus, the moon, um, wasn't always there. Hmm. 
and the gods created it to be a prison for another god-like hmm. being. Specifically, a god that eats other gods. And, ah, uh, yes, there was a bunch of kind of radicals who were like, ooh, what if we don't have gods anymore? Because, ugh, we could have all the power and we could be gods, so what if we just release this god eater named Pradothos and then he eats the gods and then, ugh, where are the most powerful beings? Hmm. That's more or less what happened. And you were trying to what? F fight? This stop guy? It. We were trying to stop, stop it. it. Is mm -hmm. that what you're trying to do now? No, we failed. You know what? This might be a little like out of pocket, but is that the worst thing if they all go away? I mean, I never, I never used any of the gods to help. No one ever came to my door, knock on my door, helping me out. None of these gods ever did fucking shit for me. So, as an arcane caster, I kind of agree. Would have been nice to just have a divinity come in and intercede and say, "Hey, here's powers. You don't have to study all the time." Well, I think the the worry is whether you value the gods' contributions in this world or not. Is that this thing? that Ludinus was releasing. Uh, Would it become the only god? There's no guarantee it won't wreck all of us in the process. Hmm. We certainly went down that little thought experiment. Yeah. Same question, what have the gods done? Is it the worst if we don't have them? But as someone who has been on the other side of uh, devious contracts, not knowing the full extent of the outcome. That's what made us nervous. Hmm. We need to find a town. We need to find out where we are. We don't even know if there's gonna be the, the right people there. I don't know if everybody had this happen to them, that everybody get thrown. Is it just certain people? Why is it certain people? I mean, you guys got thrown together. I got thrown alone. Would have liked to have been here with my ex-fiance so I can give him a fucking piece of my mind. We're, half of our friends went somewhere else. Well, in the fact that... You, you're, you guys were in front of Ludinus? You saw him? And you think your friends are alive? Well, we were all around this piece of shit and uh, we were scattered. So their odds of being alive are as good as ours, I guess, and we're still here. Got still here? You're still together? You're still hope. here? Can I ask, what what are you trying to do now? Are you trying to get back to where you were? Are you just trying to That's find right, your I friends? Know. I just want to find them. I think it's just about survival at the moment. All of the previous goals are Null and void at this point. It's just about regrouping and can you gathering. Yes, I've died twice. Yeah. <laughs> mm. We don't so leave people behind. That's just the rule. You do not leave people the fuck behind. Well, I owe you. So I'm with you. If you can help me get back to Pride's Call. You keep checking the back of your cloak. You've got that weird tag on the back of your cloak. Yeah, you? my, my papa wrote my okay. hometown on my potato sack for me. Yeah, the, the, order just... of the, the potato sack is really a choice. <laughs> oh. Dwendalian Empire. <laughs> 203 Sheep Road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> from the plateau. <laughs> If you um, hadn't intentionally gone prone in battle, I really might want to do an insight check on you. <laughs> I don't know what came over me. Well, and, and you have powers now, and you never had magical powers. I have no idea what's going on, but looks like you know what you're doing. Huh. Thank so you. if I feel like I'll, I'm much safer with you guys, and whatever I can do to help, just tell me. Do, do Impressive, you? probably true have any means of uh, of contacting anyone? Well, 
Um, oh, like a ascending spell or something like that? Something like that? Um, no. That's oh. kind of, they don't give that to the apprentices, because then we would just go nuts. Can you, can <laughs> you I had a one-way box. What's that? It was a one-way magic box. I sent it, that was one way. To your... Uh, yeah, um, dumb motherfucker. Mm, what you, what would you send him? No, I already sent it. Hey, Didn't hear it? back. What a bag of dicks. One time use. One time use. Mm -hmm. Got it from this really Shit. nice guy in, uh, mm. I forget his name. Can you send your uh, rat bird to see if there's a town nearby? But well, we saw one. Yeah, we're, so we're you did? probably, well, not close. Uh, we're gonna have to travel a bit tomorrow. Well, Thank you. I have no concept of how long the three of us have been awake. I don't know. I'm so tired. You, you um, should sleep. I, I also really only need to do some light reading to relax, so I, I can watch as well. All right. I can take a shift, too. Go take shifts. I take lots of shifts. Oh, the corpses look okay down by the fire. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually pretty convincing. <laughs> Didn't know you could do that. Four scores. <laughs> 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 this is the true power of the Age of Arcanum, right? Here. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay. Uh, setting up yourselves in the encamp, you set up night's watch. Um, both of you taking first watch. Unless there's anything you'd like to discuss while everyone else is sleeping, we can move on to the next. I have a question for her. Yeah. Uh, these people said there was something about um, Ludinus wanting to release a god or something that kills god the gods. Eater. And then you said that you were totally cool with that. Well, I mean, it was a knee jerk reaction. I don't know. I would have to journal about it to really. <laughs> Do you want the gods to be dead? My feelings about it. No, I have a. I come from sh the Shadow Realm, and the main deity there is the Matron of Ravens, and she kind of ascended to godhood on her own. So I, 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 I you know, I'm. Are you with these people or against them? Can I do a whatever check you're supposed to do? <laughs> Insight check, yes. Yeah. I can also just tell you. I can. <laughs> no, I want to roll my dice. He also wants to know whether or not what you're telling him is true. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So you roll insight. You go ahead and roll uh, and just choose either persuasion or deception. Don't say which. Okay. And we'll say if yours is higher or not. I got a two. Um, I got a four. Plus. Plus one. It's a five. And what's wow. your insight? I win. <laughs> <laughs> um. I mean, my truthful answer, which you now know is true, <laughs> yeah, is you um, told me. <laughs> like I didn't need a polygraph. <laughs> is that um, I honestly I'm I'm feeling surprisingly excited to be out of the library. I thought I was gonna I thought I was gonna freak out. I thought I was gonna do what you did. Right. So I totally understand where you came from, and honestly, next battle that might be me because I'm hanging happened. on by a thread. I would love to just no, you smoke incredible. a cigarette right now in one fucking drag. What's That's a how cigarette? much I want. <laughs> a cigarette? Oh, I'm very sheltered. <laughs> I've been on a mountain for a long time. Can I? Am I allowed to have cigarettes? Do you have one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There are there are all sorts of like yeah. pipes and smokes. Yeah, I, I pass you a cigarette. Yes. Do a do a. Um, um, a PSA on not smoking for the kids. Kids don't smoke, but I'll take one. So basically, I'm I'm kind of feeling thrilled by this, and I am too. You are right. I mean, it's terrifying. I've never. I don't have no idea what's time, going on. Everything you were doing with your body, I was doing internally. The shitting, the vomiting. I didn't. I, I, didn't, I didn't actually shit on myself. <laughs> This time. No, that didn't happen. <laughs> Sorry, the trickle was just so, it I sounded urinated. thick. Yeah, yeah no. okay, okay. Um. <laughs> I didn't have much to eat. I think most of it came out in the vomit. <laughs> but you're right, there's a fair point. Yeah, but I... Probably would have shit on myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess basically what I'm trying to say is like, I've kind of, I've kind of just been sent out here to collect a bunch of information and I do kind of believe in knowledge and it feels like these people are powerful enough that I, I was a fool to think I was just gonna walk. I would, honestly, if no one had been there, I would have walked up to one of those plant monsters and said, excuse me, sir, do you have time for a short survey? 
Wow. Yeah. That's, that so, would have been a poor decision. Yeah, it would have been. So I'm kind of feeling well, like nice. excited. I'm glad that you and I are kind of in the same boat. Yeah, me too. All right, well. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Do you, do you know if there's a, a god that has gifted you these powers? Do you feel anyone speak to you or does any name whisper on the wind to you? I haven't seen my mother in a very, very long time. I think it's her. And I don't remember her very well. Um, but I'm so sorry that my raven is named Mother. That must be... Well, she wasn't a bird, so it's okay. <laughs> okay. So you're cool with me just I'm, I'm shouting totally Mother fine. every once. Okay. I'm totally fine with that, yeah. Okay. I called her Mama anyways, so Mother is, doesn't really have an attachment okay. for me. Great. But I don't know. I'm... So you I think it could be your mother? I mean, that would change everything. If you're casting magic and it's the love of your mother? I don't know. I mean, yeah, I guess that's pretty special. That really is special. I just don't want to die. And honestly, more importantly, I don't want to piss on myself in a battle again. <laughs> I, you won't, and if you do, I will press the digitation at a way. That's a spell. Okay, thanks. I have no <laughs> idea what that is. Okay, good to know. Uh, well, thanks for the chat. Yeah, you too. Do we both just want to kind of have our eyes roll back in trance next to each other. Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Not a big deal. Do I roll my eyes back in my head? <laughs> if you want to. However you want to try <laughs> I try to roll my eyes back into my head, and I'm like, uh, I look like this, I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then uh, sort of just stare straight ahead. Perfect. Now, uh, go ahead and both of you roll perception checks for your first watch. Oh, right. That's another nat 20. Ooh, Look at you. Why are you doing this today? That's incredible. I'm 10. Okay. Keeping an eye out. Eyes are rolled back in my head. <laughs> the adrenaline <laughs> is still Keeping you up. My veins. You keep glancing over, and for a moment, you see one of the bodies kind of shift. One of them say, was one of the first. I'll go longer. I'll go longer. You're like, oh, you look at it, you're looking, it's just a frog kind of laying on its back. Man. Oh, <laughs> it jumps off. Uh, but, I send my manifest mind to re to reset the uh, <laughs> the art dis yeah. art installation. Um, but beyond that, uneventful. Oh, that's good. okay. That's good. That's Next good. watch. We'll take taking. one. Whoever else wants to stay up. I'll go. All right. <clears throat> Two of you take watch. <sighs> It's been a long day. You know you can bring down the compartmentalization a little bit. We're gonna get them back. Hey, we're... What? What? If I say too many words, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I panicked back there at the everything that happened down in the mines. I panicked. Uh, I really, I thought we had done it. I thought you ran straight into that thing and uh, and uh, I, I don't know, I made some bad calls. I... We're, we are a bunch of dumb fucks going up against a 500 year old wizard. So. Mm -hmm. I, I, I promise. We're gonna get the nerds somewhere safe. All right. Uh, Denise, I'm less worried about. And uh, we're gonna get our people. How are you so sure that they're alive? Especially Imogen. You saw the way those other red-eyed, moon-worshipping zombies we're all reacting. What if she just got, I don't know, vaporized or 
blasted in the space. I don't know. If she got blasted into space, we'll go to space. If she got vaporized, it's not like we didn't fucking find you. There is nothing else until this is dealt with. This is what we do, is we bring everybody back. There is no failure in this. We are going to figure it out because it's what matters. And I have whatever broken thing that's in my head that means that there's, just that anything is possible right now is what I've decided. And we brought you fucking back. We can do it again. I don't think they're dead, I think they're out there. And yeah, this is, this is what we do is we get everybody back. Sure, we're not enough to save the world, but we can get everybody back. We are more than enough. All right. Can't save the world. We can save our people, though. We're going to. We can find control over our own tiny little space. Yep, exactly. Speaking of getting everybody back, I take out Pate. Hey. <laughs> Go find the fucking reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm barking. <laughs> 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 oh, what a scene. Mm. All right, yeah. I guess we'll take the last one. Actually, I think we only need, well, you guys are, if, if you guys, yeah, want to, we want to triple up, I don't know. No, and you're all pretty exhausted. Yeah. Short watches isn't a bad idea. Like, makes yeah, for some yeah, no, moments, so. I'm, let's just, let's wake up. The two of you finish your watch. Yeah. Um, just as the sun begins to rise over the distance, the two of you awaken to keep an eye on the final track of sleep for the night. So tell me about yourself. Where are you from? Well, I'm from Teldori, like you. Um, Zephra, you've heard of Zephra? Mm. Mm hmm. Feels real far away. I wish I knew where we were. Gilmore, that's the name. That's the guy who gave me the box, Gilmore. Real cute. And uh, you've been to Iman? Mm-hmm. Oh. No, I went everywhere looking for that motherfucker. My ex. Hmm. Their ex. I'm sorry? Their ex. What a piece of shit. Nah. What? Uh, I know him. Are you that little guy from the poster, the wanted posters I see, I, I kept seeing everywhere? I'm on a, a wanted. You're on a wanted poster, you know that about you? No, I don't. All over Amon. Faceless picture. motherfuckers looking for you. Nameless, what? I don't know, I'm tired. Okay. How do you know Dariax? Maybe it's not the same one. Uh. Dwarf? Redhead? Yeah. A lot of jokes? Yeah, bad uh, jokes. Sometimes they're okay. No. Apple they're bottom. Fed. Oh yeah. What went wrong? So what went wrong? Okay, well I'll tell you what. Uh, well, first of all, we were doing a job together. We we're stealing furs. Ah. Uh. And then, I mean, look, we weren't really engaged. We were pre-engaged. <laughs> <laughs> and then one day, he just left me. We were supposed to, you know, deliver the deliverables. And I knocked on his door. And he wasn't there. And then I have all these motherfuckers after me. Where's my money, Denise? 
Where's fucking Dariax's money? Where are the furs? Where are the this? Where are the that? Whatever. So I left and I went to go looking for him because I didn't want to die. And I kind of didn't want to live without him anyway. Oh. And I found him. And how did that go? Well, I didn't get to say anything because here I am. You found him the moment all this happened? Yeah, I saw him from across the room and I was going to... So what was he, uh, when did you, when did you know him? Oh, months back. I think like five or six months back at this point. Yeah, we, we spent time together on a crew. He, he's, he's a good guy. <laughs> well, he got into trouble easy. Oh yeah? What kind of trouble? I don't know, he's kind of like a, you know, a kid following a red balloon all the time. Yeah, that's true. Um, but he seemed like he had a good heart. That's true, too. Well, I'm sorry it didn't work out. Well, I know I don't look it, but I am a hopeless romantic. <laughs> so maybe I'll find him kick his ass. You know, I, uh, I don't like flits of Keyleth and Will and all the horror we saw, 12 hours is flitting by as Orm is having this pretty light conversation. You okay? Yeah. Um, what was I talking about? Your friends? You leave someone behind? I was gonna say that you do strike me as romantic. You too. That's also true. Mm. Well, do you have someone? No. That makes two of us. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow or not today. Today, we gotta find our, um, what I'm supposed to say is that we're gonna find our friends and figure it out. Yeah. But I'm having a hard time believing it. I wish I believed in a God right now. That would be helpful. But if you don't got that, I got the booze. Um, uh, cheers. You're gonna be okay. The minute you're not okay, you die. I just don't think I've ever, um, I just don't think I've ever felt so small. Well, I know I'm like a whole foot taller than you, but same. <laughs> you got a big personality. You too! It's hidden, but you do. <laughs> and you fight like a dancer. Very nice. I work at it. I know. We're gonna find your friends. Or they're gonna find you. Maybe you'll get back to Dariax. Oh, God. Do I you want to get back to Dariax? Yeah, I do. I spent months looking for him. And I don't know whether I'm gonna kiss or I'm gonna kill him. Maybe I'll do both. Sounds right. Sorry about your friends. Thanks. Sorry for us all. I think it's gonna get a little bumpy in the coming weeks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I do. But we're strong, we're tough. We've got these big muscles. I got you. Oh, 
I think it's probably time to wake the others and clean up the corpses. So I'm gonna grab a little rock, take the slingshot, just wake him up with the slingshot. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe throw it at him. Hey, you should watch your stuff better. Oh, he got me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what time is it? <clears throat> we Looking did it. Around. It's about maybe 30 minutes into the sunrise, and you can see now from your perspective the trees, just the faintest bit of that kind of early morning light hitting that blanket of trees and forest across the way on the opposite side of the gorge, even at a distance, but you, you're a bit hidden here underneath the forest canopy. Or I had a thought. Um, if you you want a sending spell, right? Uh, I'm really quick with a quill, so if we could find somewhere that had a sending spell, I can transfer it into um, Denios. What would that do? I'm sorry, I'm really. Oh, it's okay. I'm I'm just like because I'm a scribe, I'm really good at copying things, so I can just really quickly get a spell if we find someone else who has it. Although oh. I suppose if we find someone else who has it, we could just ask them to cast it. But if we went to like a library of like discarded spell books, I'm just saying, I think that if we could find it somehow, I, I could get it. Okay. Just Good trying, idea. To, trying to help. Sure, I don't understand wizard stuff, but happy um, to help. Yeah, it's just if, if there's if it's written down somewhere. There is there is something that I wanted to find real quick. Would you guys come with me? And Orm starts scrabbling higher. Hmm. Up the hill, um, I want to try to clear and see above the forest line if I can. Okay. You all gather your things and kind of follow suit as Orm kind of leads the path up the climbing hills and kind of uh, craggy rising cliff sides. They get higher and higher up on this side of the forest, uh, looking for some place where the tree line breaks a bit. You do find one kind of uh, section of the kind of hill or mountain rock that juts out a bit with two trees that grow out the top of it. Um, the means of climbing them would be relatively easy and would definitely get you above the tree line of this forest. As you all kind of follow behind, kind of clambering up to the side, you break past the upper view, and as Orem ascends, you kind of look around, and there's this beautiful perspective of this rolling valley that surrounds you on all sides. The soft blanket of deep greens and pale blues that these trees take, just breaking occasionally with verdant green grass fields and the rolling hills that rise up into singular or clusters of smaller mountains. It's beautiful. For those of you who've grown up in more urban environments and talked about other continents, there's a large swath of this that seems still left natural. That massive dark mountain range that you saw before to the far west still stands dark and tall. And that singular mountain to the north that rises so high, jostles free between your knowledge as well of the world around and the things you see. We have a much clearer idea now, here in the sunlight of where you are. That mountain to the north is the Ascendant Bridge Mountain and is known to be likely the tallest mountain in Exandria. Hmm. White with snow year-round. It's visible as far away as Vasselheim and the surrounding coastlines of Isilra. Hmm. It's believed to be where the gods first touched down in the world, where the Titans rose up to meet them hmm. when they first arrived in the Founding. To the northeast of them, that mountain range you know as the Sunder Peak Mountains, themselves also snow-capped, and what separates this, where you stand, the Demethor Valley, from Athansia to the northeast, which is the home of Vasselheim, the Dawn City, where the beginning of all civilization on Exandria still resides. Is the sun hidden? The sun's breaking up over mountains to the eastern side, lighting this valley. I know this is going to sound weird, but this looks expensive. <laughs> old. <laughs> old money. Wow. <sighs> Shit. Is that like red light thing still in the sky? 
the laser thing or whatever it's called. It takes a moment to focus as the sunrise colors of oranges and reds tend to swallow the majority of the horizon. Um, but Undine, Ruida still stands unmoving, mm -hmm. locked in place for the first time since it began. Still into the south, beyond the oceans. Here looking upon this beautiful landscape, the signs of roads that break through the natural expanse that surrounds you, little columns of smoke that dot numerous little signs of civilization, villages and townships that you now see emerging and beginning their life throughout the day that are scattered throughout this valley and beyond. You have options before you. And that nearest village. Wait. Pate! Pate! Oh shit. Comes back a moment later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he is. Probably got eaten or has escaped me. I don't really know. I can still keep looking. This was supposed to be a beautiful moment where the reindeer suddenly appeared throughout the forest and we were all reunited and you failed. It's okay, I, 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 I wasn't attached. It's all right, Pate. Uh, it was going to be a surprise. Well, I you know appreciate what? the sentiment, I really do, it's okay. I can write this wrong. I can write this wrong. What? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to cast Phantom Steed and try and make it look like a reindeer. Oh. I, I really don't For you. Know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it. <laughs> Are you seriously going to ruin some of your recently explained you powers to do prism? I'm ritual casting. I'm ritual casting. <sighs> just that just takes more time on my point. The book I'll opens up. <laughs> I bet if we go to the nearest town, that's where the reindeer will be. I bet you that's where he went. He's, he's. he's a, he, people. he would have turned down a gift. Let him give the, Let him give you the gift. I don't it's need rude. an imaginary horse. <laughs> <laughs> it's rude to say no to a gift. It's, it's not an imaginary horse. It's an imaginary imaginary horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay. Yeah. Let's do. Let's do the steed. Give let me. Let's do the nice thing. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Please. Thank you. Waste our time. The yeah, book this, opens itself. This feels like a little bit like when everyone's telling a kid that their art is good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just going to retract the magic back into my hands. <clears throat> Did later, another time. Use it for another other things. Things. Yeah, so please. we really wasted our time. Mm -hmm. um, All right, Pate, go to bed. <laughs> good boy. I mean, my personal vote would be to go to one of the most, one of the more populous centers. Mm -hmm. uh, agreed. That's our best bet. You can still see, visible across the Brightening blue sky, the tethers of the Apogee Solstice, the three day event still high up in the stratosphere, like the Aurora Borealis, mm. but shifting in rainbow colors. And that nexus point, a number of miles off, and indeed where you saw that cluster of lights from that village the night before in the shadow, you can see a bit of smoke or steam, some signs of that civilization still below it. Is this that nexus point? Is this where like the gods first? Descended? That's, that's the mountain to the far north. Oh. This is it's another just nexus of power that's settling over this valley. Where's sorry? Where's Vasselheim? How far? Is Vasselheim is far oh, to the northeast. Far. It's gotcha. beyond the mountain range oh, and oh, oh, deep oh. that gotcha. way. Gotcha. So let's find a town. I, you tell me where to go. Yeah. Let's head to where you first saw. Start there. Yeah. Find out. All right. Agreed. Where on the map we are? Oh man, I have so many questions. <laughs> Got any more jerky? <laughs> it's chewing on your jerky, and you begin your steps in the direction of that nearest yeah. township. Nice to be useful. It's good, it's good jerky. You plunge once more into the forest. Is that peppercorn? Do you have a digestive system? It's very slow. Mm. Further east <laughs> into the valley, towards your next destination and the first semblance of civilization that may greet you. Orm steals one last look at that rising sun before following into the trees. That's what we'll end tonight's episode right there. Pick up I next time. Like You're gonna like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll pick up here in Asura. Yeah.
Oh my god, we're in a Sora. Wow. Yeah, a whole, whole, whole area of Xandria oh that you've not god. experienced you before. You guys are carrying a lot. Yeah, you guys have so heavy much hearts. Pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I want those corpses to be there for the next what? thousand years. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> The rotted They'll skeletons and pilgrimage. Yeah. 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 Like, rotten to mulch, but yeah. still, it's gonna be like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love it. Our legacy. Oh, uh, welcome to the table, oh. friends. Yeah. yeah. So happy to have you. Oh, More to come for the next oh, wow. next journey forward on this group. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us. We'll see you next week. We love you very much. And is it Thursday yet? Good night. <laughs> <laughs>